What is happening, troops? Look, if you want to get involved with the deep fried merch, that is it. Beautiful, beautiful hoodies, beautiful mugs, beautiful everything. Uh, head over to clubshopdirect.co.uk forward slash Riley's Gaff and go give them a wee visit. We'll put the link uh, in the description. You can go right there and uh, you can support us. We are currently saving for a Lamborghini each um, and we are wanting a sort of custom sort of paint job on it that does cost a wee bit extra than your normal uh, your normal paint job on the car. So we are hoping to get there and um, 1% of all proceedings will be going to charity. So there you go, troops. Cheers. Change, but you know for the most part not a name different Sometimes be stuck in my ways Weekend fucked up in somebody's kitchen Stick in my hand, I'm chowing with the trips And my few cans do so I walk like Winston Trust me, I wake up hanging You hang that I'm leaving this bed, you're kidding I'm sitting on back in the pad Get deep fried and I smoke some packs of the grass Put the feet up, kicking your best No, I'm sticking on Riley's gown But <laughs> right, this is just, this is the start. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to Riley's Gab, your uh, favorite game show in all of America. What kind of games would we play, mate? I think we would play. I've always wanted to go to one of the see the kind of old school circuses where like cunts spinning on mad the ones that like beat the elephants, not I know. Oh, bro, drop tigers, proper old school. <laughs> you might get your tail up the old school circus if, if it's not a mad fat Russian guy running at me. I don't want to oh, go no. to a circus. Oh, no. no, but I'd like um, you to be like spinning on a. A wheel and me to be throwing knives in between your horns oh, and can, that. And I, I can mean, see us doing that. Do you mate? think? Would you trust me for to do the that? first e- for the first episode? Uh, I first and last. <laughs> Imagine that's how I die. <laughs> so, oh, mate. I could see that kind of. I, I so, know that, but something sort of similar. Mate, I, I don't know if this is bad, right? But I was thinking the other day about like because we've been doing. We'll let the, the trips know we've been doing some stuff for Patreon that includes like serial killers and like cult shit and that so I've been watching and listening to hundreds of stuff and I was thinking about like <laughs> one day imagine we people don't get anywhere with the podcast and we're like we just want to be I'm a pure trying to like get the podcast bigger than that and then we're kind of going a bit mental because of it <coughs> and then we just turn into mad serial killers to get infamous of a uh, uh, villain arc aye do you think it's possible? Because I genuinely do. I think we're about three months away from it. Um, <laughs> but because you're like watching so much shit about it now that. Like, Aye, like, it's like diluting us a bit. And mate, you, me, me and Big Lee, Big Lee, the ayahuasca man. Mate, what a pod that was, man. That was unreal. But mate. Um, me, and, me and Lee were talking today. Mate, I listen. I so last podcast on the left, right, the best crime true crime podcast there probably is, right. So funny. If you've never heard it, go get a listen. But. On that, like, they've got a playlist called Heavy Hitters, right? And it's just pure detailed about, like, all the biggest serial killers, all the the maddest shit, right? Aye. And, I've, like, I've nearly listened to every one of them, bro, and it's hours. And, and they're all, like, and just, long, mate, I just know so... Mate, like, I know, like, I feel like I'm mad. Like, mate, I got a thing through for jury duty, mate, right? right? And I'm fucking buzzing for it, bro. I want to uh, go and... Uh, mate, I'm into it now, mate. I could... Um, Are that, you going to vlog it? Vlog. Hey guys, <laughs> welcome to fucking Jerry Jerry. This is shit, but fuck it. Uh, uh, see you guys soon. I can't wait for your random vlogs. Oh, mate, they're going to be actually the most random things probably that's ever sort of happened in probably Scotland or at Aye. least sort of the north, the, the sort of Aye. north of the UK. <laughs> no, um, <laughs> so I would say. What would you, um, what is your, like, say you could pick, do you know how the way Lemmy just streams in plays games and that's like his mad perfect thing mm-hmm. and like say like Chris McQueer's writing novels now and all what would your like end goal of like content things be? I would like to make um a great play <laughs> <laughs> a pantomime <laughs> but I would love a ch- big cheesy crimbo pantomime bro oh mate Mate, the creme de la creme, me and you, mate. But who could we play? I would be the Santa, the and, stepsister, uh, uh, <laughs> Santa Claus and Mrs. Claus. <laughs> <laughs> yes, mate. Um, mate, no, I was thinking before you were talking about what's Katy Perry song were you singing? Oh, um, <clears throat> summer after high school when we first met. In the the radio See, mate, I was, I was thinking the day, man, right? About this, uh, remember the song, uh, 
I kissed a girl oh, right. and how like it was such a <laughs> oh, whoa like I remember when that came out like it was such a like that was that a big king it was, sort like, of thing. radical I was like whoa like you're actually Sam like <laughs> you're a girl like what the hell <laughs> and it was like I think it was a mad thing like in my school boys had Katy Perry as their background and their uh, phones and all that now California bit. girls like, <laughs> <laughs> sitting in a cloud like that but these songs nah. all just remind me of school mate I, 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 I as a replay I can almost smell the fake tan after birds and dance energy when I hear that tune mate, mate I was listening to like uh, n- now that's what I call music 2009 or something mm-hmm. and it was all they mate it was mm-hmm. fucking it was beautiful man and do you know who I was kind of getting into a bit mate and I think they get a, I don't even think they get a bad rap because it's just forgot about them Sugar babes, bro. Oh, bro, don't talk to me about the sugar babes, mate. Push the button, bro. <laughs> oh, oh, that is, that a, is a top, top 10 greatest <laughs> songs of all time, bro. It's like Bohemian Raps today, right? Aye, aye. Push the button. Bro, there's you're no way. up and all that, man. You're pure, it's pure leading up. There's no the way, button. there's no, there's no way you're hearing push the button, bro, and no, absolutely. Uh, pop, sh- pop my boogie. <laughs> just shaking it mate do you know what I mean there's no chance bro I remember like I remember I made a video right and it was like I was like what happened to the sugar babes right and all that and I was like <laughs> listen really? to this song mate I why pull, pull it up right? I'll try and I'll get the video up that'll be good I, I'll try and find it mate troops listen up the kind kind folks at Beer 52 are offering the people at Riley's Gaff the listeners the gaffinators they're offering them a free case of eight beers <sighs> Eight craft beers from all over the world, right? Your parrot is going to go on a journey. Are, 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 are you going to deny your parrot a round-the-world trip? <laughs> what are you? Cruel? Nasty? Despicable? Mean? Disgusting? <laughs> so, troops, all you need to do to claim that free case of eight craft beers is go to www.beer52, and that's the number 52, beer52.com forward slash Riley, R-E-I-L-L-Y. And once you've put that code in, all you need to do is cover the postage costs. 5 95 Come on. For eight craft beers from all over the world. They've got beer for everybody. If if dark beers know your thing, they've got light-only cases. They've, they've, they're catering to all troops. In fact... Anybody who gets the case of beer from Beer 52 are going to receive some tasty snacks and they're also going to receive a copy of the award-winning Ferment magazine. Woo. So get with it, troops. And look, the thing is, see if you want to sign up for this and then you're like, I don't want to continue this. You can cancel it any time. So if you're not satisfied, you know, get the free case and then cancel it. But we think you will be. And also, if you want to pause it, you can do that as well. So it's very flexible. What is there really no to sign up for this for? Like, what, what reason would you have that you wouldn't want to sign up and get this for? It's it's silly. And look, Troops, it helps support us as well. So if you want to support us and get free beers, you know where to go. The link's in the description. For audio listeners, it's www.beer52.com forward slash Riley, R-E-I-L-L-Y. See the Sugar Babes tune, Ugly? Uh-huh. Do you know how it goes? When I was seven, they said I was strange. Do, 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 I, I that's how we, Morgan was singing it the other day and she was like, when I was seven, they said I was gay. Like, she wouldn't, she wouldn't have the words, bro. How Isn't it you? mad how, like, you will grow up, like, how embarrassing is it doing that? But, like, how embarrassing, like, you're like, you say it, and, like, something goes, wait, what did you think that? <laughs> <laughs> you're like, you know when they ask that, you're like, fuck And off. you're pure going back to your memory, what could it be? <laughs> ah, you're, ah, you're like, I should, eh, get on the lyrics and all that. <laughs> right, I can't even find the video, but, mate, what I was saying and it was, right, I remember I was saying, like, like, what happened to the sugar babes? Like, and I was saying, like, you had Mutia Buena, she left, and then I was like naming the members, and then I was like, looks like a, a looks like another case of too many babes and not enough sugar. Ah, uh, like that. That's good, man. Because like, where are they now? Do you know what I mean? Uh, but they're still babes, but they've just they'll always be babes. Mm-hmm. But well, 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 they. Do mm-hmm. you you into that shit? And they what? Mate? <laughs> Seven year old babes. And it worked, mate. Mate, no, it's funny, man. I was thinking about this today as well. See uh, on uh, on Facebook or something, right? Now how when like now like police um like police have like fa- so sort of, like Herefordshire police division mm. and they'll post like pictures of drink they've confiscated, not like all that shit, right? 
it's funny when they put up like a pure warning, like man on the loose and all that, and it's like a mad cunt who's in for like fucking rape my granny or something, right? But the, he's like pure got mad neck tattoos and he's pure got a tan and, he, and the, all the bad birds are coming under it. Pure, oh my fucking god, like let him free, you know? <laughs> <laughs> let him, let him out. Yeah, that's like the mad. Uh, that's a, the mad. Obsessive serial killers. Aye. This mad guy looks like a mad goat that every cunt mind we were talking about. Richard once. Ramirez. Aye, mate, he had my mad fan club, mate. He actually looked like a a, a woodland creature. Mate, and it mad. Why, like, I always think, like, I always think this, I know, like, why, maybe you know for you so much, but, like, why do, I, why do I, like, enjoy listening to a bit, like, the worst things possible? I don't know. Like, I, I don't, I don't specifically enjoy them pure. And then he done this to and then he done that to You're rubbing your legs like, now. Oh, keep talking, but <laughs> eh, get on it. But, but but I'm like, what the fuck, man? Like, uh, why did why why did I find like entertainment out of this? Maybe it's because it's so. I think I know. It's like so far from what you fathom ab about life that it's like fascinating. Like you couldn't even imagine wanting to do that, mate. Psychopaths and sociopaths and that are the most interesting people mm -hmm. because it's like how and know what it is. It's probably I think it's that are. Pure into that shit, like have got like are, are very emotional people. Mm -hmm. If you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. So when when they see these people that are pure callous with life and shit, they're like that's mad to me. Not me. Aye, so you, aye. Must be a, you must be a very loving guy. I've I'd, never felt any, of it, but <laughs> well, not many people have. <laughs> mate, but I swear, like take you for yeah. Uh, <laughs> see for the like, example, like social paths and that, right? Like and like psychopaths, people that end up just mental, right? I, I was listening to one the day, right, about this guy Joseph Carringer, right, who he was he was adopted, right, by a, like, an Austrian couple, um, and like I, can't, I don't even know, like early days in the US, like nineteen maybe forties or something, right, and he was like, f like they literally got him, and for the, the minute they got him when he was like five, like they showed him no love, like literally nothing. He, they just bought him to work as a shoemaker because like the guy was getting old and like he was going to end up dying. He'd need to leave it to his business so, or so something. He was he was like s sterile, as some would say. Oh, um, fuck. No, that's not good. That is not good. Whenever he is, <laughs> bro. <laughs> <laughs> Stereo, bro. Never heard of it. Mate. You're slanging it. Bro. Oh, bro. Everywhere, bro. Could make a thousand wins the day. Mate. Oh, my God, mate. That's nuts. I keep getting ads for uh, donating my sperm. Do you? Eh? Aye. With cash. Mate, much do you think you get, right? Much. Let's have a guess here. Much. Oh, jeez. Things are getting out of hand in here. <laughs> uh, much. <laughs> How much, mate? Much, mate. Much cum, you think you could... Uh, I mean, much do you think it is for a boat of cum? Uh, no, I mean... Uh, no, but right. I'm, How much do you I'm think saying... you get for donating maybe one load? One... All right. Right, so one visit to the sperm bank, you get a score, I think. Right. Th that is like the urban myth, isn't it? <laughs> mate, there's a couple of acts. Mate, cunt doesn't even work anymore. I'm just going to do fucking... D fucking one to eight times a day, mate. Fucking, it's a full-time job, 400 quid a week, mate. I swear to God. I spent 11 weeks. <laughs> mate, cunt's packing, mate. Cunt's just got a BM, mate. 22, please. <laughs> what do you think? 50 quid, man. 50? Yeah, I'm wanting 50 quid. See if I need to sit in a mad waiting room. A mad, a mad like pure white room with fluorescent lights. Mate, on you know what's insane about this, right? You guess twenty. If my mass is right here, you guess twenty. You guessed fifty. 50 yeah. It's thirty-five, which so means Joseph's closer. No, no you're both middle. exactly. Oh, exactly the middle, aye. So you just need to fight now. Aye. <laughs> see who gets this, the bonus spell. You just need to donate to see who can donate spell the fastest. So we fight and then I get the bowl of sperms, is that what you're saying? <laughs> aye, aye, aye. And I, I get the 50 quid. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's probably the best way of doing that's it. That's the only fair deal. <laughs> you just I think that's the only watch. kind of way of doing this, aye. You sit watching like Leonardo DiCaprio and Django. <laughs> and mate, Leo, mate, Leo's a dirty man. He's, uh, oh, uh, he's anytime like, his bird reaches a certain age, he. Aye. Pondus pilot, I wipe my hands. There's a mid chart for that. There's a mid chart somebody made. And it kind of like gets nearly gets up to twenty three. Aye, and, and they goes just back to new bird. Aye, it's going. pretty mad. Mate. That's insane. Like, like waves. <laughs> Mate, Mate, he was telling us about um, what was the thing you were saying about him? Aye, Christian Bale just thanked. It's a news story. Christian Bale just thanked Leo DiCaprio because he's saying that every single role that Christian Bale's ever got, like they asked Leo DiCaprio to do it first. 
and he's like, pumped <laughs> it down like everyone. Everyone, but me, that I was is surely does American, Christian Bale know Batman? American Psycho. I, I mean, that's, that's the first thing I said. I said, they, they oh, Leo, Leo, Leo hey, let me like f- film crew, but like seriously, like Leo, Leo, I don't think he's got the energy for he, Batman. He's, he's no not got Batman, Batman in him. He's not got Batman's intensity. Batman, Batman needs <laughs> to. Batman. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Batman. Ba- Batman. That was a guy for your dream, bro. Mate, Big Batman. Mate, Bill Big Barty Beef was doing mad all the other day. Look for his fucking jar of beetroot, man. Do you know that? <laughs> mate, honestly, I don't know what he was talking about, man. No. Big Barty, man. Got to love him. But, um, I so, mate, Leo can't do Batman in my eyes. No, I don't, I don't he, it needs so. to be dark. Batman yeah. needs to have dark hair, bro. Oh, like, is that the only thing? <laughs> or bald? No, Batman I can't be bald. <laughs> <laughs> That's Hitman, yeah. Hit Batman, yeah. Imagine a bald <laughs> Batman, bro. Hit bat. Imagine Batman takes his mask off. It's like, but cunt's bold, mate. It's the cunt for the literal game. Fucking the P- PS2 game, Hitman. Just Glitching like, it and shit. Fucking uh, red tie, black suit. Is that, that's what his, Hitman looked like, isn't Barcode on his neck. Right? Aye. <laughs> mate, but they were the days, man. Mate, and then, like, American Psycho and that. You can't imagine Leo doing any of this. I'm sure that they did. They wanted Leo. It's pure ringing a bell now. Oh, so the machinist? The machinist? Is that not Aye, like, he could do something like that. Is that no sort of similar of sort of vibes to like Shutter Island? Well, like, machinist. He goes so, like, like, aye, aye, aye. like he goes same sort of. In it, though. He's like, oh, pure anorexic. He's fucking. Have you ever seen? Aye, a Christian, of him? mate, have you ever he seen pure Christian Bale gone for doing the machinist to doing Batman like solid? Aye, it's to then doing American Hustle where he was fat. Mate, no. just like let a fat guy get it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, just stick to your weight, mate. That's why there should be weight classes in fucking acting, mate. Mate, there should. Imagine be a, there was weight classes in acting. There that's how f- they get parts. A fat Paul Batman, Black bro. Cut, man. Fat man. Aye, ma- fat man. Jack Black was Batman. bro. <laughs> this summer, <laughs> Batman is fat. It's like Jack Black, like falling out of bed in the costume or something. <laughs> mate, that would sell me. We could make fucking a movie, mate. Mate, have you ever seen the guy in TikTok? I might just show you. No, I won't. There's a guy in TikTok who, like, he does mad libs of, like, what a film's going to be. So he goes, like, and pretends he sniffs a part. So he's like, right, we're going to do a mad lib. Right, give me a genre. And he just, like, batters out films, mate. But see, at the end of them, he always goes, like so he did one and it was like a Jordan Peele film which is like Get Out and Us and ah, all that yeah, yeah. and he's like uh, he, it's a, like this sorority house gets haunted by something and a, a Labrador climbs across the and that's the Labrador's possessed not and it's actually <laughs> so, see the end it mate it sounds amazing but he always goes like now let's make some fucking money <laughs> <laughs> this always, guy sounds insane mate, bro they're always so good mate there's, um, there's a fucking hang me one I know uh, whatever that director you love's called the uh, Django can I always forget Tarantino, his name. Aye, Tarantino. Tarantino. The Django cunt. <laughs> mate, I always <laughs> forget his name because it starts with a Q, mate. Names that start with Qs don't, like, register on my head He's properly. weird, he's weird. I, I think he's a bit weird. I mean... I was, I was in, uh, you know, that place, Box. I was in that place and I couldn't say that I looked like Tarantino, man. <laughs> I, was, I was side on, though. I was like, mm. Aye, because you've got a very, like, square, like, face. Kind of chin and that. So <laughs> Tarantino. Like, because I've got one of these. So. I feel like I've got a mad pointy, like a Lois for Family Guy face. Do you know what I mean? Uh, like the, the big pointy, like a big Fair. triangle. Mm-hmm. Can I? No, Phineas, man. Phineas for Phineas and Fair, mate. Uh, That's what I'm rocking with. Uh, yeah, I mean, I kind of see what you're getting. <laughs> I've never really thought about that. No, I like haven't. what the mad 3D mode of your face would look like if it was just like, nay, like, in it, it was just like, I had scan of your face <laughs> yeah, on yeah. Somebody knows they used to Phineas and Ferb though when it was the other way about like you were Ferb. <laughs> who fucking said that? Who fucking said that, bro? Who fucking said that, bro? Podcast done, mate. Mate, who fucking said that, mate? Own up, phone the hotline, bro. <laughs> right. We've, Get you on that hotline. <laughs> we've just went on for the, the like, this kind of topical thing. I was wondering, do you want to look at a few news articles? Joe, give us the fucking news. a bit of news, right? So McDonald's is releasing... Happy Meals for Adults. Oh, Mate, because I've seen, it's supposed to be nostalgic for people to like remember being away again, but you're t- an adult. I've seen a lot just of get um, two Happy Meals, man. Shut <laughs> up. I've seen a lot of TikToks now of like cunts going like just got the, the adult Happy Meal and it all up and it's Johnny's and a quarter. Aye, aye, like, yeah, I know. <laughs> Me, I didn't. I thought that was just like a mad thing. I didn't realize they were, they're actually doing it. So, like, what is like what? What's the whole deal with Like, do you just... It's, what's in it? It's so probably just a meal in a box. In a box, mate. That's all it is. I think maybe a toy. It's just like mare. 
Maybe, maybe you get one of the like nowadays sex toys that are always advertised on Twitter. Maybe on your bro. <laughs> get on, nah, I know what you're talking about. Mate, how funny is it when you see like a fight and like a, like a video of people in America or something like, and it's a mad like street fight or something. It's pure like something mad happens in it, and you look at the comments and it's all like mad sex toys and that Aye. they're selling under it. You're like like mad Amazon links, not you're like Aye. what the fuck, man. Mate, that was uh, somebody said like I seen a mad like, viral tweet the other day. He commented under it. Sex toy companies DM me for real, for real. Uh, <laughs> like, like, we've got 200 likes, like, let's get it to 200,000 likes. Can't wait to get hundreds of sex toys, man. <laughs> Cannot wait. Mate, now, um, mate, back in the day, mate, you remember the old MSN days? Did you, I was wondering the day if you, if you, did you have MSN? No MSN, no. Oh. I did have Bebo, but. Mm, aye. Aye. That's... That, that doesn't seem like right in my head. Was Bebo not before MSN, no? No, 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 no. People lasted longer than MSN. Did it? Aye. Aye. Mate, MSN feels like a mad institution for me because I think I had it when I was like six, mate, up to I was like a kind of teenager. Do you know what I mean? It was my pure childhood. Do you know what must be weird for like um, people that are like quite young now to fathom that like one day, like the Wisney Facebook and the Wisney like Instagram and the was like see people who have grown up and that's been an app for the minute they turn like to any like a, 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 a teenager basically and mate they're like the like Facebook Instagram are like old now Aye. like like I think where was it I was, all that Snapchat and all <laughs> that their own mate there's a wee guy in my work that had like just started and I was talking to him and I said something about like Instagram or something he was like I've never even had that like it was pure like uh. it was like he's only on like Twitter and TikTok and that. Like, I, I would say so, mate. I would say, like, Instagram is a mad... You don't see, like... Know that I'm looking for them, but you don't see many, many, <laughs> like... 12-year-olds. Uh, uh, you don't see many 12-year-olds, do you, boys? Know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, everybody's thinking it, boys, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but, no, I know what you mean. Have you did they not just change it that you need to be 16 or something? Is that not oh, a thing? Oh, maybe, maybe. Aye, and they mean. just don't want to lie. It's never stopped me. Mate. mate, do you mind... Have you ever been... Like, I mind... Once one of the new Call of Duties came out when I was like 13 or something, so it was on Modern Warfare 2. And I was like, to my ma, like, oh, we need to go and buy it. And she was like, all right, I went up to Tesco and I'm pure, pure choking to get in and all that. <laughs> the day after they came out, people like clutting and all that. I was like, man, man, we need to get this fucking thing. And we went up to the till and we're like, is it for him? And my ma was like, well, obviously it's not for me. And she was like, oh no, it's an 18. <laughs> and I got like a knockback for a game, mate. Oh, bro. And I made her go back. Like, I mean, I went into the motor and made her go back to a different town or that. I, <laughs> no, I need to. No, I need to, <laughs> mate. All my pals are on it, man. Modern Warfare 2 is nothing will ever beat these days, <laughs> it's bro. Go to oh, it. bro. No, even like, even like Warzone, that, mate, it's. it's Nothing can. I think it's. Called, I think it's the nostalgia attached to it, but like the period of time where that was your in your life. Like aye. it's just such a fuck. You're just had nothing today, bro. You're just coming back from school, and that's what you were doing. Like <laughs> didn't even didn't even think about like what what am I gonna like eat the, eat the no. night for dinner? It was just like your <laughs> dinners. You didn't even know what it was gonna be, bro. You had to walk down the stairs and be like, oh, that's my dinner. Yeah, but there was sometimes that you would get it like the door trapped on. You'd be sitting there. Aye. Cheers, ma. Take <laughs> <laughs> your dinner. I just go right back. Maybe it was the best time ever, bro. Mate, we literally used to, like, day mad. Like, mind you used to... Mate, how funny is this at all? Mind you used to go and, like, stay with your pal. <laughs> like, and you'd be like, right, well, I right, should do it night, um, bro. And you'd be like, up on it. I remember that. I remember them one of my pals. For, like, when I was, like, young, you'd be like, hang on, go and stay with him. And we'd be like, right, well, that's 100% doing it all night, um, bro. And, like and you, you'd be like, playing, get up, like, FIFA all night. Like, you're like, why? I've done that. I've done that recently. I've done that with Joe recently. Imagine and you, it's uh, amazing, mate. It's actually the best thing ever. So you just go and run to your you house quite ill? playing games. Ah, it's horrible the next day and shit. But see, like, you actually go back to being a wee guy. Like, if you're playing, Aye. Like, mate, because I brought, like, my PlayStation I like that, up mate. That could be that's like a drug almost, bro. <laughs> I brought my PlayStation up to my pal's house once, mate. So I was in, like, he was sitting at a desk with like, a, a gaming fucking laptop or something and he's playing like that and I was sitting on the couch in the telly like that both with our headphones on he's sitting like there, there and I'm sitting here and we're like talking to each other through the headphones Aye. like a pure like watch removed conversation Aye Mate it's funny see even anytime I go down to pages he, he'll be like if, if I'm sitting with him he'll be like playing it but he's got like one earphone in and he'll be like I'll, be, I'll just be sitting there, but like, watch that cunt, watch that cunt. And I'll be like, what the fuck? And I, like, I think he's, I'm like, are you talking to me? And he's like, no, bro. And then, mm. like, I never know who he's talking to. So I'm just need to, like, sit and just be like, 
Is that for me? <laughs> but, is that one for me? Or should I take that one, bro? <laughs> oh, sorry. So, sorry, mate. I don't mean to knock out your ball. No, I don't know. I don't know. Mate, but I seen a video now. You're saying like Warzone. That's good. I seen a video the other day, and it was like. Um, it was like a nostalgia video of Warzone, so it was like just mad like streamers with like mad amazing shots on like Verdansk. It was only like a year ago, mate, and I'm getting mad like nostalgic feelings for uh, that. Aye, I mean, mate, I know. Man. I think it was because I like mate, CG on lockdown. I was just playing games all the time and gone out walks and like heavy like it was like the first one. Uh, it was heavy good. Yeah, mate. But don't uh, talk to me about mate lockdown, mate. Lockdown slapped, bro. <laughs> well, mate, I could mate, I was honestly the day hanging about lockdown and be like, that was fucking class. Mate, my ma still says to me, Oh, do you remember that day we all did that at the back? And I'm like, was that not like the pure scariest time ever? And she was like, No, it was brilliant. It was, mate, it was so I loved it, mate. Like, like basically, right, you got to Dean really nothing apart from what you wanted all day. But there was no guilt attached to it because nothing, you couldn't feel that mad. Oh, I should be at work. And like, like, seeing cunts go to work. And that, there was just, everybody was just doing nothing. That's the way life, mate, we need to stop these jobs. We need to get robots to do everything and we just need to do that. We just need to chill Just relax. wake up, need money. No, no like, why you need, need money? money. Just you get robots to fucking do everything, mate. Just farm do, and all that. Doing the show and just kind of take shit and that. Oh, mate, no. Oh, that'd I, be beautiful, wouldn't it? My, my other news story was a robot thing. Tell us, uh, Boston Dynamics has oh, pledged. What are they fucking up to do, <laughs> bastards? So they have pledged to not weaponize their robots. Oh, good. F- thanks, Boston Dynamics, mate. I was watching. I've saved hundreds of shit on TikTok. We could maybe even just do a wee bit of this because I was watching a thing and it was like Elon Musk talking about AI and it was it was the Google thing you were talking about. And I hadn't seen any of this. Now the Google, the guy who worked at Google, you were telling say, me about. Said it was like sentient. Aye, that guy looks like a pure creep. To be yeah. fair, mate, that's what like I was talking to somebody about that, and they were saying like, aye, I pure like believe that and all that. And then like I listened to him on another podcast, and he was like, we Duncan Trussell or something. And he was like saying, I'm right into mysticism and I'm polyamorous and like just all this mad aye. fried shit. And it was just like, right, aye, I know, I get you. But like when I was watching that, and then it was showing you like bits, bits of Elon Musk and other mad fucking scientists talking about shit and looking pure sombre and that, and they're like, yeah, they don't know what they're, like, I've told them. This is heavy bad, the way the mad speed this has gone at and all that. I, 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 no, I mean, it seems though, I think it's just like, there is literally, na- there is no chance they've gone back now. Like, even them saying that, oh, we, why we, we essentially spit down that we're not going to do that. <laughs> um Somebody should have made them spit down. But it wouldn't even be there. I spit down your mass ashes. <laughs> <laughs> what did I think? Ashes? <laughs> Don't know, mate. You're in a bit of a destructive video there, bro. Mate, but... Um, your, spit down on your mass ashes. That's my mad age, you old know, baby. Nah, man. mate. If you do fucking do this, <laughs> bro. But I, like, they're never... It's never going to get to a stage it's where no, they're like, whoa, right, like, everybody just stop. Like, it's, it's no their it's choice. It's beyond that. To, like, obviously... If they weaponized AI, it would be or the, the it's robots. No AI, sorry, though, it's like it's meaning they're not going to make mad soldiers that are just like robots. Aye, like mad villages oh, mate, and killing I got, people. I get fooled by a video the other day, and it was like a CGI thing, but I thought it was real, and it was a robot uh, like soldier, and it was like it had like a, a mad gun attached to it. It's like um, it made it look brilliant, but and it was doing that, and then it was shooting like hunters are like targets perfectly and then cunts were like pushing it down and it was just getting back up and going <laughs> and I had to go for it was Sweet, real mate bro. it was bro if 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 this ha- like imagine me imagine you went home right imagine you went home remember like you went home one night and Boris Johnson was on telling and he was like ah, we need to go into lockdown and all that and everyone's like what right so but he Im- comes back into power and all that aye but <laughs> but, <laughs> but imagine you go on the, you, you go home the night and there's a fucking you you're watching something and just cuts half and it goes in the news and like that the robots are coming. I know you're thinking oh you're in your wee house and your wee no everybody we're well done. <laughs> Mate, have you ever seen the pranks that is like nuclear lockdown videos and it says like I and cuts date cuts date to like the no, like, granny and all I, that. They're like look and it's like. This is an interruption by the BBC. I, and it's like, you're, you have to take shelter and go to the... And they're going, 
Oh no! I have no idea. Mate, the funny, mate, there's another funny one, Coach D, and it's like the broken telly, and they're like, oh, the remote slipped in my hand, and they're, it's like their dad comes in with their tap at up, you're like, what are you fucking doing? What are you fucking doing, you telly? That's a fucking four half pound telly. Oh, fuck it. They, they always smash it for real when they're <laughs> <laughs> anger. <laughs> Just rip it off the wall. Mate, fucking hurt the ground. Geez. Mate, but I, we're done for, mate, we're done for. Mate, I was, mate, I remember talking about MSN, I was nearly, I was nearly done for actually, one mm-hmm. time in MSN. I remember as you do in MSN, you, you you float about the place, you say ASL and all that, ah, you fling yeah. that about um Tap five. <laughs> which your tap five. Aye, that was your that was how you introduced yourself to somebody. You said which your tap five, didn't you say hello? <laughs> uh, so I remember I was floating about, I was talking to somebody, um, a female. Mm. <laughs> uh, you would be <laughs> guy like you. Me me on MSN. <laughs> Uh, no, <laughs> no, please so, no, no, bro. You make me sound a bit like a bit socks, um, MD, bro. But, but I remember I was uh, talking to a female on there, but I don't, it was a bit of friendly banter, you know. Uh, but, but, uh, but I don't even actually think I was like fired up. I think I'd just been like talking to her because I knew like someday she knew or something, right? And I remember this cunt added me, mate, my mental cunt for fucking Hamilton, right? He's like, ah. You've been fucking talking to my bird, right? Yeah. You've been S- MSN in my ah, bird. You've been MSN in my bird, bro. ASL in my bird. ASL, bro. You've been ASL on MSN and all that. Bro, I swear, bro. I did not but, but he was saying to me, have you not? And I was like, ah, well, aye, but like, I know she, I know. It, mind you had it in your name, like, like, but like Jamie Kelly loves. Like, <laughs> okay. that, that was your name. Me, but it, the, when you were, sorry, I'm not trying to no, put no, you off track, but when you're like getting a bit cooler, it was just like the initial. I like, be, that, if I was going to with you, it'd just be E, we love her. I <laughs> just be like, I, like, like, it, I, I love them, but respect our privacy. Aye, sort so of this is subtle here. I like, like, I'm no pure at all about that. No, uh, drag, but, dragging them in at master. But mate, this, this, he was like, ah, you've been fucking talking to my bird, and I'd be like, oh, no, I, but like, I know, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, ah, I'm going to fucking kick your head in, right? I'm like, ah, all right. And he's like, ah, come and meet me for a square. <laughs> all right. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, come and meet me for a square go, right? And like, it was one of these cunts, his picture was him and like 40 cunts, all like that. All oh, right. No, and I was mate. like, ah, I was like, ah, no. He said, come and meet me for a square go. And I was like, no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, F- fucking come up and meet us. Fucking, I'll meet you here and all that. I'll meet you. I think he was trying to meet me EK, about a middle ground, right, oh, for the aye. fight. He's like, ah, come meet, fucking meet me up. Neutral fucking, land. Come and meet me up EK, fucking at the centre. I'll take you a square go. And I was Get like, the high ground, man. Ah, yeah, no, <laughs> I'll, I'll be up there altitude training weeks before, bro. <laughs> Running up fucking uh, the, the expressway. <laughs> Running up the mad stairs at Philadelphia, uh, mate. <laughs> <laughs> he's near, it's touching the chat, <laughs> uh, So he's like, ah, meet me up EK. And I'm like, ah, mate, no, I'm no coming. He's like, ah, right. So he's like, meet me at the cinema, PK, I'll fucking kick your head in. Or I'll, meet, I'll meet you, bring cunts and all that. I'm like, no, mate. Like, who do you want me to bring my dad? No. <laughs> my mom, my dad, he's uh, so <laughs> To talk to your mom, my, po- my mom, and a Polish. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that's it, I don't know. Bring a sergeant. Aye, uh, yeah, you fucking go, is it? <laughs> Aye, it's just him right there, mate. Aye, uh, that's the one right there. <laughs> uh, so I'm like, I'm not coming. And uh, so he, he didn't reply to me. And then, no joke, five minutes later, he messaged me saying, Evan, mate. And I said, <laughs> Aye. And he said, Want to go to the cinema with me, bro? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I respect that and so I was much, like, bro. I was like, Nah, you're all right, mate. And he was like, ah, I feel bad about that earlier. I'll meet you at the cinema, EK. I was like, but what? not for a square goal. <laughs> Where you just wanted to battle me, mate? <laughs> With all your pals. I, I think I'm no gonna go, so I didn't go, man. So I hope he, and you're I, still, I hope he go to the cinema that day. You're still breathing. I'm still here, man. You're still, still kicking, still bro. He was kicking. in that cinema with two so, uh, ice blasts, man. So <laughs> <that's laughs> <so amazing. laughs> but if I get that. I really do feel bad about that. My poor boy, man. Fucking poor boy, man. It's some par. It's happening, Trips, here in the G4 Claims studio. So, um, G4 Claims, it's a, a multifaceted company. They do things like this, produce these kind of shows for you. Um, and also, if you're in a wee bump, if you're in a wee accident, if your motor gets clipped, even if the driver's uninsured, if they don't Blame. cooperate with you at all, then, aye, see if you're, see if you're driving and a blind guy smacks into the side of you, 
they'll sort you out, get you all sorts of dough. They'll go straight to their insurance or they'll go straight blind to your guy in a motor, or just a blind guy. Aye, if a blind guy just runs up and cracks your motor and it's got a mad fucking infinity punch, like something a fucking some anime flick, then you get yeah, you'll get a payout. But also, if you want to come up and try and do what we do and do a wee podcast, talk to a camera. It's a bit weird doing these ones because I'm just talking to you. Like I've no somebody to bounce off of, but if you want to start your own podcast, if you want to fucking claim for a blind guy punching the side of your motor, I'll just phone them. Tell them Riley's gaff sent you. Cheers. He had no another thing, mate. I was thinking, I've seen a video of the fucking, uh, the, I think it was like the Green Brigade um, in like, uh, like Leipzig or something, right? Going down these stairs and there's a cunt at the front, right? And I'm like, oh, there's thousands of cunts, not even, right? And there's like a cunt that's at the front and he's on the drum, right? And I was like, mate, what do you need to do to get on that oh, drum? Mate. What is the application process like to go on the drum? Mate, I knew a boy. <laughs> it's a big role. A boy at my school was training to be on the drum <laughs> for the Green Brigade, mate. That's boys, that one. I think that video's from Munich, mate, because I'm there. And it's all it? that looks like the exact staircases we went down. Everybody I just seen Celtic fans in Germany, and I thought, aye, but me, I'm sure that girl. was for Munich because it was the old strips everybody was wearing, and I was there, and we were singing that song. This is were the you on the way. drum, bro? I was on the drum, mate. Oh, oh. Like, yeah, <laughs> no, mate. But, Imagine you met a cunt and had a gaff like that. Yeah, mate. Obviously, would you get up to that? We do for work, and you're like, oh, I fucking not here. And he's like, aye, mate. Eh, on the drum for the Green Brigade, bro. <laughs> <laughs> bro do you know what it? See the drum at the big boom, ba boom, boom, boom. I do that, bro. Mate, That's me. Have you ever watched them? But I mean, it's a fucking name. Wonder who has to go to training, mate. Probably need a workout program, but <laughs> mate, they train. See, like they can't see the Celtic supporters clubs. I don't know what one it is, but they go there. They get trained up, and it's like see the same cunts that do the drums at the, drums at the Hibs walk. It's like they cunts now. They had like at the front. So they learn all that shit and all, mate. It's, it's musical. Uh, mate, it's weird, isn't it? There is an art to it. There really is a bloody art to it. Mate, do you know what I was about to talk about when we talk about like news stories and Have you heard about this is like it's it's not a funny story, right? It's just interesting. But do you know how the mad uh, droughts that have been like all over the world in China and all that? Have you heard about all this? Droughts and what? Like, just food and water. Like what? lakes right. have been drying up everywhere right, and, right, shit. Right. and then in Pakistan, like fucking Aye, like, the fl- mad f- is that no floods? Aye, that's floods, so it's like just Aye. the world's not something, but um, that's a fucking sin. That shit isn't all like sixty million people have been fucking relocated out of Pakistan. That's a lot of people. That's a lot of people. I think that is a, like an obscene amount of people. I'm, if you think about that number, aye, yeah. sixty million. I'm sure they see the area that's flooded. It's like half a fucking northern Europe or something. It's insane. But <laughs> the the droughts, what they've been finding, in the bottom of like lakes that have been. Obviously, no dry for like thousands of years, mate. Uh, so they've they've been finding in um, in che- Czech Republic, they've been finding old Nazi warships with like ten thousand bombs on them and that. Fucking hell, mate! And then so that one's mental, but I'm getting to an even more insane thing that's been dried up, mate. <laughs> so like, I just found that. What so you've been drying up, Jamie? I, I, I found it so interesting when I was just looking on as dried up shit <laughs> in China, with like, their floods are like mental. There's um. Is they get floods old, as well? Aye, I don't aye. even know about this, bro. How Those can you old, have a flood and a drought at the same time? Look up, look up, mate. Because the flood, well, if the, a flood just wrecks everything, so obviously then there's going to be droughts. Aye, some, aye, aye, aye that? obviously like China and Pakistan are miles away, I know. It's just a different thing. And another, the other side of the world. <laughs> <laughs> no, but they're the same things. That's even weirder, aye, mate. It's mental, but Joe, just look up like things found in droughts or something. But, <laughs> <laughs> mate, there was no, one was mad. Is it no one of, floods? No, it's when the water goes away, you find shit at the bottom of the... I have you think about it, Oh, right? well, aye, aye, sorry, aye, Imagine aye. Loch Ness just, like, dried up, mate. Imagine what you'd find at the bottom, mate. So, there was... I know what we find, bro. <laughs> dead bodies? No. The Loch Ness monster. <laughs> <laughs> What's it, Loch Lomond? <laughs> I would find that. Uh, did you see Loch Ness? Uh, I, 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 I was thinking about Loch Lomond for some reason. The Loch Lomond monster, bro? Oh, mate, he's a bastard. Mate, that's me when I'm He just drinks in the pub. He just up in Barrack, mate. <laughs> Just thought about it. Um, right, so they've also found, right, so in Germany there was like a, a rock at the bottom of the lake that had like measurements for like measuring famine, like measuring a drought would obviously used to cause like famine and shit. So it would say like mad inscriptions, like if the water's done to here, make supply this. If the water's done to here, like flee the country and all that, like right, mad right, shit, right, mate. Right. And then 
the, the coolest one, mate, in, I think it was Michigan in America, a lake dried up, and they found dinosaur, dinosaur prints that are perfectly preserved for, like, I think it was, like, one point something million years ago. Fuck. Part visitors in one part of Texas got to walk in 113 million year old footprints. Whoa. The ongoing drought dried up a part of a river at Dinosaur Valley State Park, exposing the massive footprints of a seven ton Acroanthosaurus. Oh, one of them. One of them ones. Uh, and a 60 foot tall Sauropoidon. Sorry, I'm pure regretting taking that uh, task on board there, mate. Um, but. See, mate, no, I'm not hungry with dinosaurs, mate. Apparently, they were fucking like they've kind of came to the conclusion now that they had uh, feathers. Aye, that's mental to me. That is a, that like Kaz Milligan was like sort of right about that. How would did he? He say? was like, because he was like, how? Do, but he, he, obviously, Wisney, right? But it was like he was saying basically that like we none nobody that's alive has ever even seen a dinosaur. So how can we determine? actual what they look like it's just a guess it's just a total guess it's like you find bones or not but like he was saying the bones are fake not, which obviously it's no true right <laughs> but like um he was saying like w the image in that they have of them is just something that everybody's made up and it's just like this is what it is but they don't even know really Mate, so but they did come they birds, the, didn't they but all they have is bones aye so you can't tell how you how you ever yeah. gonna know if it's feathers or no it's cause aye. they used to think they came for reptiles aye. and now they know they come for birds so it's like they must have had feathers aye and also they've been finding like feather imprints in the in the stuff they've been finding like the fo the, like the fossils oh, right, and shit aye aye, aye. aye. like fossilised like mm -hmm. feathers that have sat in rocks for a few years mm -hmm. mate how um much how I don't know how you'd say that. How much less scary uh, it would like, a pterodactyl be if it had feathers? Uh, me, I, I, but also still heavy. Like me, pigeons are enough for me, bro. <laughs> yes. And pigeons are like the ants of the bird world, right? So, <laughs> like, if you, like if we're considering dinosaurs into the equation, so if I see a fucking any sign of a dinosaur, mate, so I'm running. What do you know? Like, <laughs> would you know? Like. Uh, what was it? Where was that? I was the other day. I mean, I was somewhere the other day that I was out a walk. Very mysterious, bro. I, I, I was, was somewhere. Mate, see, see the place I used to work, right? The, everybody used to always go a walk at lunchtime, like everybody, because like the managers used to bring in their dogs and that, right? And it was like a guy had brought in his like new wee puppy. Aye. And above, like the walk was like a kind of nature trail thing and like Falkirk or something. And Above us, like you could see, like mad, a mad buzzard or a hawk or something, and he was like, "Oh fuck, get the dog!" And he was pure scared for the <laughs> dog coming down, like the bird coming down and picking the dog up and taking it away. Imagine your dog died like that, man. <laughs> How fucking? Give me it getting ran here by the neighbour's motor all day, bro. Just seeing it flying away, it's just like <laughs> you're like, oh, fuck, I can't help you that's know, man. Like the only way I had, to, I said this to him and he didn't like it. I said like, that's that's like the gnarliest death. Aye, 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 aye. That's just a pure rock and roll death, man. Aye, that's a, that's a good way. Annoyed you when like a donut gets took off you or something. I know. Imagine your dog get took. <laughs> Imagine we were it with Joseph and I'm mad eagle came down. Mate, the, girl, mate, uh, the girls are, mate, the girls, I'm not seeing, I'll, I'll admit, they've kind of dispersed a bit. I have spoken about it in the podcast. The girls, the case of the girls, have I said it in the podcast? I don't think so. I, think so. I feel I, like I have, but I, for people who haven't heard it, Crazy things are going on with the girls at the moment. You might be, maybe you know so much new, maybe it's getting a bit colder. Is that how sea girls work? I don't fucking know. Um, <laughs> You're not a scientist, are you? Not, and I'm not a birdologist either, no, um, <laughs> which is obviously the term for when you study birds. Yep. Um, but the girls, man, the girls are going crazy. Um, I think nesting season is over, so they're coming down a bit, bro. But um, as I said, my girlfriend did get attacked. Twice, so she that I remember you twice. That I've now. want me. She, I, I say this, and I have said that in the podcast because she corrected me. She said, I said she's been atta attacked half the girls twice. It's no actually, it's once half the girls. She told me this. I, I, I don't know when I last seen her, but I'm sure she said, like, and it, once was, half, it was one of them. He's after me. <laughs> no, it was one, no, it was one seagull and a crow. Oh, a crow. Mm -hmm. Oh, Nate, so, watch the crows, mate. Because once I seen, what would you say a, a crow is about like. It's like less than half the size of a seagull, isn't it? Aye, seagulls up, mate. Seagulls could get like, a start in my work, mate. <laughs> like, we've physically got, could do the work, probably. Get gains, seagulls. I mean, but I, I I've seen a crow they... bat on a seagull, mate. Crows are, like, Crows are smart. hard as nails, bro. What are you saying? Like, I've always thought a seagull, like, if you weren't to see them all the time, you would think they're pure mad. If you just saw one, you'd be like, look the size of that. Mate, mate see, like, see, I bet we're so used to them. Aye. See, when you see them up close and all, the, the feathers are so, like, 
Perso white, Aye. and they've got like big weird eyes. And, oh, like, and they mate, birds have near a mosa, but nothing. But bro. bro, do you know when I thought like how like seagulls are like mad mental looking things? When I was in Cuba, there was hunters at um, would you call the ones that have got like the big fucking big gullets on them? Pelicans, pelicans, bro. There was hunters of them like dipping them into the water and like getting, and it was like uh, people I, just used to watch them every night, and be like, they're they're amazing, crazy, and all that. they are right, but I was like. That are just a wee bit bigger than some of the seagulls doing at Air Beach. Not I mean? like, like seagulls are mad. I think if you didn't, as you said, if you did, when they so accustomed to them, I they, they would be, be weird. But mate, King but that, I've seen them chasing King, tractors and shit, mate. They actually, seagulls, they, mate. I, I was going to eat my walk up at Strathen once, and there was like a tractor like cutting the <laughs> no cutting the grass, <laughs> <laughs> but plowing like, the fields, cultivating the fields, plowing the fields, boy. And, and there was a big gang of seagulls like. Just diving into the back of it must have been like eating the mad wheat or something. Uh, the, and the the funny thing was the farmer like took his hat off and went out the window and he was like, "Fuck off!" Man, I thought you were like as if he was like tipping his hat to him. <laughs> <laughs> Respect. <laughs> <laughs> respect You're man. stealing my literal money off me. <laughs> but, but I respect the hustle <laughs> yeah. we're, we're all surviving off the land we're out all here We're masters here yeah. brother There we go man like that But um, look here yeah, we better We better get on to some stuff for the Patreon Oh yes now, yes As you will know if you're in the Patreon um, When we do an episode it's just us We will say What do you want us to talk about? What do you want us to do? You kind of control like half the episode almost So if you want to get in on that you know where to go, baby boy. But um, we've got one. We've got one request here for Harvey White that says, "Just get baked and talk hunters a keek." But I think we've done that. Ah, yeah, yeah. I would right? say we've we, we've mastered that, like that uh, request. But I just wanted to say, like, see the word keek. Why does it always? It's always birds shite. Can't it's called keek. There's a bit of keek in my shoe. Aye, just because we're talking about seagulls, not there. It's always bird shite. What is there? Is there a reason for that? Is that where it came from? I think Keek's just a... I don't, I don't know, mate. Like, Keek, uh, maybe... Uh, here's the... He, I know exactly why, bro. Yes. Do you know what, do you know what an onomatopoeia is? Mm-hmm. So imagine the, the, the noise that a bird's shite splattering. Wait, wait, let me do it. Kind of hear Keek. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Keek. Kind of that slap noise, bro. It's a Keek, mate. It's a Keek. That's true. Maybe that's how. Imagine that's just how you name things, like everything, like just what it sounded like when it hit after. I mean, I love, I love shit like that. Like, (laughs) I don't even know if this is. That was a language, mate. I've been seen with that sound. The the word jazz (laughs) for jazz music and that, like words that people make sense in my Mm. head, I just love. Do you know what I mean? Like, see, see words that I can't tell why. Like, see the word shampoo, fucking does my nothing. The word conditioner makes sense to me. I uh, because shampoo is like. I think it's French. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> shampoo, le shampoo, shampoo, shampoo. That is very. Uh, that's a French sounding sort of word there. But right. I am um, apart from Harvey White's request. What have we got? Uh, we've got hunters, mate. We've got hunters. Uh, we've got a few like we watch alongs. Yeah, mate. Need a haircut. I was until I get sorted out. But a good guy's Eric Code Essential Barbering. No codes. I bet how weird barbers. It's. Looks like you feel you maybe feel like you're walking into some high end fashion store. Other like other branding is like essentials. It's like kinda low key, kinda cool. Boys in there are brand new. I was in the day. Uh, James McCarthy was sitting next to me getting his haircut. He must have just got off a plane for Germany playing against Red Bull Leipzig and went right in to get his do chopped. So it's a man with his priorities in check. Uh I so I get I've obviously um I'm a, a patron of uh, Reese the Hagman Haggerty. That's who I go to for the for the do chop. So, and he was actually telling me today that he likes a he likes a difficult chop because I was actually asking for an uneven fringe and a purple bit in the fringe. At one point, I don't know, and the sides was going to be a fusy. That's what I'm going to do. I think saying, "Can you can you sort me out?" And he was like, "I love shit like that." So, see if you get a mad weird haircut, go to Reese. If you've got a normal haircut that you're wanting. One of the, like, what do you call them, Joe? The buzz cuts everybody's getting the now? A mullet or something? <laughs> no, mullets are big the now, but no, like, buzz cuts, like, cunts get just shaved right across their head, wee bit longer at the top, and faded. I've not got the hairline for it, but but if you want anything, just, you can go, you can go to Cal, some boy there. He's the one that cuts fucking Jimmy McCarthy's hair. So, I I'm, I was just going to read out a couple of reviews. Um, so this is on Google Reviews. They've got five stars, five out of five in Booksy, five out of five in Facebook. 
in fucking a million out of five on Google. So these are just a couple of wee things. Great stats with some good chat. Can't recommend code enough. It's a nice review. Uh, I like my experience with Reese, top class haircut, and I will be back. So that's, that's exactly that. Might have been me the day. Um, and I've got one mail read it just to send us on our way. Jordan, he's a good haircut. The whole place is very friendly. Great vibes. So if you need your do chop, go to Code Essential Barber, and they're in Duke Street and they're in Uddingston. So get yourself down there if you're kicking about G Town, if you're in North Lanarkshire or wherever the fuck Uddingston is. Go there. <laughs> Uh, so I hope you enjoy the rest of the podcast trips mate this Rick sort of reminds me Joseph Callenger the one I was listening to last podcast and the left I didn't explain any uh, oh so I did so Austrian he had two, two Austrian parents right he was adopted by them he, they literally just bought him because of like you're going to die, you're sterile. That's how we, we went on a tangent afterwards sterile mate. that's where we got lost there right so right. <laughs> obviously um, so he, so he had to um, he had to like work like he was like five and they were like if he stopped working they'd just hit him with a hammer and all that mate like insane and like he, he asked he asked if he could go on a school trip to the zoo and they were like what the fuck, what you the fuck? <laughs> mate she, uh, he came like they came to like the front of like the shop they owned right the shoemaking shop and they fucking he came out and they asked it like for the back like can I go on a school trip to the zoo and she hit him with a hammer like eight times in front of cunts in the shop and then he had to like scurry back so what he eventually ended up growing up today was he had he a he owns Google <laughs> <laughs> and this man is Barack Obama <laughs> for early pictures <laughs> so but we can't go off tangent again. Like, so 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 um, so what he ended up doing was growing up, having a son who was 12 and then murdering country his son and know what he would do, mate? Chop off wee boy's dicks. <laughs> what, and eat them? I can't, I've not got Trophy, that. But. Trophies or I? I, I Pickle. Me, he, like, but, but what happened was when he was young, right? I think he had like a micro penis, right? And like they went to the doctors and they would say, "Oh, there's a." I don't even mate. I kind of half heard this bit, so I, it could be totally wrong. Do like you were just slagging on my get that micro. Yeah, I get that fucking micro dick. You fucking it was a mag me. Uh, but no, like they went. Like I think he got caught playing with his bird, bro. Uh, and uh, he got took to the doctors and they like told the doctor to tell him there's a demon inside his dick. Right. So but he turned into a bit like a paranoid schizophrenic. So he could like those voices in his head telling him like fucking you, I like you need to go and like you need to go and do a bit of business, do you know what I mean? But, like, obviously that cunt was, like, they, like, they cunts are just created. Like, that childhood, that's how you end up a sociopath and having no empathy, nothing. Like, that's how you make somebody a, like, a mad AI robot, basically. Aye, aye. Like, a mad Noah human. And it's, like, the opposite. I, like, I watched that, um, we need to talk about Kevin the other day. It's like an old, kind of, no old film, but... Um, I know you're have you, you know, have you seen it? I so I watched that the other day because I, like, I remember watching that and it'd been mental and it was like a wee Wayne that was just born pure evil and uh, hated its mat. That and does like, happen as well, but and that's what I mean. But I think it's more rare. But how like mad is that that it makes more sense to me that moms and dads can be heavy fucked up and fuck their wains up than just somebody being born bad? Because like all you, all we, all, all any of us are is just a reflection of what our upbringing was, what culture we've been around. Like there's a reason me, and us three, like a favorite, favorite music isn't like Spanish music. It's because you grew up. It's not like an it's intrinsic thing. It's you like do, you grew up around that Hungarian. And you, you are you, you are essentially like a blank. You are essentially a bit of a blank. You'll have like mad shit in your genetics and that but like you are essentially like a blank slate Aye. when you're, you're born it's and like, then it's, it's like everything the love you're showing is like how much love like and what like what happens with serial killers a lot as well is like people that get abused right like they grow obviously they grow up to then abuse because it's like if they love they love them on that unconditionally at that age they don't understand what they're doing so it's like when they're getting like abused after them they, they think hate. that's love like they that's how they show love i love this person so much they must reciprocate, and this is what they date me. Aye, so aye. That's, that so that's like it's a mad, it's like a mad pathway your brain makes to like this is how I show this, and it's like that's why they end up going or like I think it's the same thing with like mate. Do, sorry, not do you, sorry. Do you know what another kind of version or less extreme version is? See, they like dads that grow up and they go, oh boy, I mean, no wearing a fucking dress or aye. like he's no having he needs an action man, no a Barbie, not like they cunts. 
do the same thing the aye, other way. Aye, and aye. it's like, because you're just there for like guidance and influence, that's it. Like as a parent, aye. you're just there to like show them this is how I would do things, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Like it's no pure like, you you need to like to give away and like free will to be able to become a mad adjusted person. No, you know definitely, I mean? definitely. And I think, I think as well, mate, like I think we spoke about this in the Patreon episode about that podcast. Mm-hmm. Um, where like do- that Dr. Gabba Matty, I think ah, his yeah, name is. Yeah, yeah. Um, he was on Joe Rogan. Definitely go listen. To it. It's one of the best he's done in years, man. Like could listen to the guy for. He's a. I've bought two of his books since ah, it, man. They're is that amazing. Ca- is that chaos? Um, no, no, no. Sorry, no. that's um, Dr. Gabba Matty is like a mad addiction specialist and a trauma specialist, and he's like Aye. the one who like says like AD, ADD and that is just like like a kid when they were younger. It's like the way that they escaped, like the the way that they escaped or whatever was going on in their life was like blanking out and then it becomes a pathway for when they get stressed in a situation it's like a, a pathway your brain makes and it goes right blank out and it's like you can't hit it's it's a coping mechanism Aye. but do, but it like doesn't work in, in adult life but it works in kids life because you don't have a form bro, brain do you know what i mean bro see that see that zoning out thing with adhd you can actually do that and all like you can actually just do that it's a you can switch it on and all so it's like a choice in like, your brain. See if I had like just for an example, right? I forgot my phone when I was going driving somewhere the other day, so I didn't have my phone for like a couple of hours. So see, like that way, like when I was sitting down, what I was doing, let's see, say I was sitting at a fucking post office or something, I'd like just be able to zone out, and it would be as if like I'd be, I'd walk out of wh- wherever I was, and it would be twenty minutes had passed, but I had just zoned out, so it felt like a pure thirty seconds. Right. Actually, feels like in situations like that, well. You don't need to be fully focused. It feels like a mad superpower. Ah. You just feel, but at the same time, you don't want to just let shit pure but, pass you by. But is that like I'm? I'm assuming there's times like you do it and you don't want to be doing aye, it, like, like most of the aye, time. Aye, aye. But I, all, all I meant is like, because that's like that's the thing that I thought happened with everybody. I thought that was just like standard life. Mate. I think people do it, but then there's like a mad extent that people do it to where it's like it reaches out because it's all it is like a mad spectrum. It's no like just like if you do this, it's Aye. not like black and white. Obviously, there's like every and especially now with like how fast our world moves. Mm-hmm. Like everybody who's on the phone a lot's probably got it to an extent. You know what I mean, like is that way, like it's like, is that way, like as well, like see, see, like you're trying to watch something, like it's like a mad thing in your brain is like. Even though you have no idea, like no sort of interest in seeing what's on Twitter, or what your fo- it's like your brain's like grab grab your phone, like this is like this is dragging on. You need to Mate. see something fast, fast, fast. See, see, see when we, when we've been sitting like doing this podcast, like I always notice shit that we do. Both of us do the the pure same. Like sometimes we will go, what am I doing? Like, and it's like we'll be all just sitting talking about something, and then we'll go to check our phones. We'll be like that and pure, oh no, like never mind that. Aye, you know aye, I mean? aye. And it's like as if like. Because we're doing this, and it's like I'm at, like, I was just sitting talking. It's like we've kind of got away for that a wee bit. No, it's, I, I mean, that, that's why, like, I love doing podcasts, and, like, it's a, a mad way where it's, like, um, especially we, like, people you know, like, say we get Sean and Ben up here, or just anybody that comes on, it's like, if we just went out for a meal, everybody Aye. that was there, it would no, never be the convert. Even if you were, like, we're going to talk about your life at this meal, it would Aye. never be... Because you are so intent, intensely like staring at each other and asking, and you know it's been recorded. Aye. That it's like a, it forces you to be present at all times, and, and it's like so healthy for your brain. Yeah, I feel I like I think it maybe I think maybe it like is like a mad crash course in a relationship and all. Because mm-hmm. think about how like close me and you are mm-hmm. in the space of time. Oh, it's been uh, like a, a good wee while now. No, it is because you end up like talking about everything about your life almost so you you get to you probably get to know your personality isn't that much faster Aye, if you do a podcast with somebody mate, some of my best pals i don't know like i would be because everything was with them when i was a wee guy while like, playing the computer like we used to do earlier on when you're a gaff you're like what mate that, your mc's blaring and all that Aye. it's like there's no mad actual connection between uh, no no I get, all yeah. the time but i just mean like yeah you suddenly like talking to each other about things. It's just like it's just like it's n- nothing like a substance normally. Well, obviously like, you end up my mad heart to heart, but it's like no like it's like I always end up pure fear. It's up a pure them, drug induced heart to heart. It's no like actually you just want to have that. It's mate, like obviously we'll go to Prague again, mate. I want to go to. It was also a bit time my life when we went on, mate. Actually, I think we all we guys, bro. <laughs> I, no. I actually think about it, but bro, we were actual wee guys at one point, bro. And you're like, Mate, I know, no, man. No, we're just here, the same as back then. But Mate, and actual will always be like this, bro. Would you just... Like that, mate, 100%. What's your name, mate? 
<laughs> <laughs> but I, I feel like some things, like, see, just when you mentioned, like, Sean and Ben, see, when we would, like, come out for ones like that, or, like, Mark Black or whoever, or just us two, us three, it's like, I sometimes go home for them feeling like I've had a mad good night out. Me, I, I, I said this, like, and, and I said this to uh, Lee that came on for, for the Ayahuasca um, podcast. I seen him the next, right, so I, like, love that podcast, right? So I go, I hear, right, and I go home, and I'm like, no even caring about what time it is. I'm, like, going home, and then I sleep. But, but we obviously get out of here quite late a, a lot of the time, and we're working, like, early the next day, so... I normally get like a worse sleep after the podcast just because it's shorter like you can, you can, you're no in charge it sort of thing I think I got maybe like six hours sleep which isn't like a lot really and I f- mate, woke up and I was just but like it was as if the mood that, the thing that that gave me then that podcast was more than my tiredness it just like overpowered it like I, it couldn't like make me feel the so effects of tiredness mate, the next day it's like the opposite of night out mm-hmm. because obviously the, the tiredness overpowers everything after Aye. you've been on it but after you have a mad Interesting conversation with an Aye. interesting guy. It's, it's yeah, a pod, very that podcast was really good, mate. Like a, a few people that I didn't even think watched the podcast have mailed me like, mate, I want to go and do that. Aye, and yeah. Danny Clark can I go and shout out Danny? Are you gonna go? <laughs> me, mate, yeah, mate, plenty. Of that's the best guy to go away, mate. Hundred <laughs> percent, mate. You'll be sitting dipped in ice water. Uh, Cheeky's in the bath, man. <laughs> <laughs> sitting in a bin, like, ah, oh, brilliant. Just pour it down my neck, mate. You would definitely mate, that would be in that would be in his story like that that like in the bath in the jungle or something and then like just drink the ayahuasca mate that is the best guy to go mate buy a mile honestly a <laughs> hundred miles mate um, but but we better we better move what are you gonna say something I was just gonna say exactly what you were about to say mate but do you want me to pull one out for in sync that mad band mind them Joe I was just in Google there and I was looking up wee belters I was just wanting pictures of wee belters and I found this website it's called it's called Belter Lux. Mate, they've Where's got... It? Shows that wee belter on it. Mate, no, I've not got any of the wee... I was looking up wee belter otters. That's what I was looking for. But I found this, man. So, look, this is saying that you can win a Bacardi 12... A Baride 12 bottle wine cooler. That's probably about a grand minimum. And you can win that for 99 pence. Looks a bollocks. Aye, mate, but look, it's just like you can win straight cash right to your bank. Over a hundred k in prizes already drawn, and they're just still gone with it. Win an iPad, I'd love a wee iPad. What's that? It's saying about it's teamed up with Riley's Gaff. They saying that. Aye. aye, so they've teamed up with Riley's Gaff, and they're giving all Riley's Gaff viewers fifty percent off every order. So they're trying to tell me, I could. That's printing money, mate. I could buy all the tickets. Get them half price, and then fucking sell the fridge. You need to go and do that. The new troops. You need to go and do that. The new. I'll let you get back to the podcast. I just had to interrupt for that, right? You might need to cut that out, man. I mean, I'm trying to get this uh, Lloyd Tobin. Cheers for the question. He's sent us a a, a guy called Rabbi for Wifflet taking a salvia bucket years ago. <laughs> but it sounds like the best video ever. I know, mate, and I can't even find it anywhere. I, I've the, the, searched that as well, and it's not coming up. I, so. It says, Lloyd, when we're clicking on it, it says um, video unavailable. But it's weird, because I, I could have go, I seen it the day. Like, it was up, so I don't know what's happened there, mate. We'll oh, try and get it another time, maybe. It was a guy for Coat Bridge taking a salvia bucket, so it's obviously something deleted <laughs> somehow. But how how would it be deleted in sh- such a short time? Oh, has it been up for years? Aye, it's like 11 years or something oh, I think fuck. it looked like a pure old video that's but mad. sorry Lloyd we need to move on mate um, but Kieran Bonner has asked Jamie has, specifically for Jamie oh yeah um, has, has Jamie watched latest Brassic and explained why Jimbo in it is one of the funniest characters about <laughs> oh mate so it's so what even mess- is Brassic fans have been messaging me you know how that Joe Gilgan the actor and it's his mad like life story but like uh, right, mind I've told oh, you about it before. Aye, 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 and it's aye. like he's go, uh, he's like bipolar, and he's just like a mad petty thief and shit. That mm-hmm. was like mind I always talked about it. So hundreds of fans have started watching it. So cheers, because it's actually amazing. But there's a new series cheers just. Cheers, if he's like. Part cheers, of no, the I, I was obviously <laughs> in the writing team. I was doing the lighting. No, I Jimbo, fucking, mate, there he's there. Right, so, Who is Jimbo? Mate, don't tell us, mate. The, Jimbo is like a, a, the farmer. That they keep their like their weed that they, they, so they punt weed and they keep it underground like in the gentleman, but it's just a like, one container weed under this guy's fucking farm, but they just do everything up at his house like they set up a festival at one point and all that, but he's just like this mad uh, like EDL fucking English farmer guy and he's always like, and I'm an Englishman and my but he's he's heavy funny and the wee uh, the thing I was want to say about that is like 
that actor was just like a mad local, like whatever. I think they're in Har- Harley or something it is, like a mad wee town in England. And he was just like a local actor who was meant to only be in it for, in the first series, for a just wee bits, just like wee, all right, blah, blah, and he walk away. But it was that good that worked that well that he's oh. had my pure main, like hangs about with them all. So they basically and, like fixed him into it. So uh, I think just because like, he was that good. Wrote his part out a bit more, but he is actually heavy funny. But as I Where say, can people watch Brassic? Uh, you can watch Brassic on Sky, bro. That's where I watch it. I don't know. It's Sky. like a Sky One program, mate. Oh. What is. Have any ever liked it on Sky One except The Simpsons? Because that's the only thing I've ever watched on it. Futurama. Futurama, mate. Um, wrestling was that? Did wrestling used to be on Sky One? Monday Night Raw in the morning, I bro. <laughs> <laughs> Monday Night Raw in the morning. I know that would. Oh, they're gonna get it live, bro. That's big. Oh, you need to pay big money for that, piece, that's, that's, that's a big <laughs> network, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, well, I've got a question for you, mate. Well, me and Cameron Winchco always say it, but it's a brilliant name. When's the Europe bros diss drop them? Are we, are we dissing them? Did we, we say that? We said that, aye. And I still want to do it. Well, I want to diss like Paul Dock. No, I want to diss every mate. Kaz Milligan. Scotland diss. Megan O'Welsh and that. Me- diss every <laughs> Megan O'Welsh. <laughs> Imagine that. Imagine we dropped a mad diss like <laughs> dissing for Chris McQueer and that. <laughs> this is every guest this is <laughs> like all the guests maybe well, with told you fucking bad <laughs> <laughs> mate that would be that is that would be a that would be career suicide <laughs> like, <laughs> so I mean, mate why would you even come on after that yeah Ooh. imagine it was pure bad shit you're fucking down your, oh, pure <laughs> personal shit cool. it, Colin Clint's uh, father was under ha 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 aye so I don't think it is coming uh, they would take it well but well, I don't know if Ben would actually yeah. Ben might. See, just think, thinking of this isn't that, mate. I think what we should do is, right, I, I, we can bleep some of the words out, right? But I had, a, after the diss episode, right, we had a lot of mail saying, where is the Ebron Hill diss 2010? That's the maddest one ever, right? Mm-hmm. And what happened with that troops is, well, we're going to listen to it, right? <laughs> the first line dropped and we all like we can't even listen what to this was that again? I don't mate remember. wait till you hear this right so maybe we should uh, maybe we should end the podcast listening to that how about we do that right, and then okay. we'll go through the Patreon but no comment on it right aye because aye we're just going to need to end it and that no we can have a week <laughs> <laughs> right we'll do that then. I mate, don't remember it mate mate it's I, they use epithets in it and that's how we could put it in what's epithets a word you use to describe somebody, an epithet. Oh, that's, that's a, a fucking, that's a fucking mate, word. that's a brilliant word, bro. Yeah, bro, I hope you're good in that, I know, mate. That's a fucking fantastic, <laughs> just coming in with words like that, bro, yeah, actually, fucking, I'm, so br- I'm half bricked right now, bro. <laughs> <laughs> mate, you love a good word, don't you? Oh, bro, don't talk to me about words. Um, <laughs> eh, <laughs> don't talk so to let, me about words. <laughs> mate, do don't not s- ever bring words up around <laughs> me, right, bro. Um, but when are we dissing the yurts? Um... Mate, what I'm worried about this in the Yurts is the, sh- the songwriting ability of Sean, oh, Sean Yurt. I don't know if I could, I don't want, it's like entering the lion's pit, bro. Yep. But do you think he wouldn't be there at this? He would be doing like a, oh, yeah. an old, like a Barry White this. Like oh, mate, that might be even mere insulting for us. <laughs> like a pure soulful song slagging us. Uh, oh, that would hurt well. <laughs> Your podcast this shit. Oh, bro, don't say it slowly. <laughs> say, it, <laughs> say it fast, mate. That's the way I want to go. Shit fucking mad. I'm going to shake your fucking dick. <laughs> you know, you know, brick. So Ailey McAvoy has said she wants more pagey stories. Right, so look, there's plenty more pagey stories, and pagey reminds me every time that I'm weird, there's plenty more pagey stories <laughs> that I've no told. But you know what? We need to save it for the young man coming on the podcast. Now, could we do Christmas at Christmas with with uh, Father Christmas oh, pagey? That sounds beautiful. Mate, we could get pagey to come on here dressed up as Santa for Christmas. Mate. I would absolutely love that. That would be insane, bro. W- and w- Wogsy is like mad fucking cat demon in the background, aye, just aye, dancing aye. about that. <laughs> Turn all the lights off, <laughs> mate. Dressed, dressed as, like, it present? <laughs> dressed as the Grinch or something. Oh, uh, mate, that would be insane, man. But, but I so try to save them. We need to save, because it's no fit. We need to let the boy tell them. Uh, what I will say is, but Trips, right? For maybe legal reasons, for every kind of reason there ever would be, it probably will need to be on Patreon. Mm-hmm. So the Christmas Christmas with Pagey, it could, it's, mate, got, it's that's got, gonna be a good. Because watch, it's man. no even a case of like, I'm putting it. Oh, like this is the teaser. Go and sign up. For the, it's no even like that. It, the, the, there's it a lot. On YouTube, of, it would be so heavily edited. It would be 
It wouldn't even be worth recording. Can I be like, like, no, we need to take that out. It'd just be bleep, bleep, bleep. <laughs> <laughs> so the Pagey stories, Father Pagey, um, he will be on maybe for the Christmas special. So keep an eye out, Troops. Doesn't we'll play. update you on that if it's if it's a hundred percent a gore, but he will be on the podcast, and uh, we can we can release release the beast. But um, Jamie, have you got another one here? Aye, mate. So I was looking to move on to Aaron Weir's question. So. Um, I think this could just be for you because I'm more really into all this shit. So he's saying best nights at, best nights at the dancing or best acts seen at stuff like Riverside or Sound System. I've never been to either of them. The old Archies. <laughs> I've been to the Archies. Nah, mate. mate I don't so know what even... your guy say. What? Sven Vaff. <laughs> I mean, this guy fucking edits this fucking podcast and listens. <laughs> he listens. He doesn't even just edit it. He cares, it. I know. He does care. Mate, I would say, I would say, I would say there's like, I would say there's two mm-hmm. that like that I can like remember being like, whoa. Mm-hmm. Maybe no wait. Three. Three. Right. So no, that's not even in Scotland. Does it say in Scotland? No, no, just Because uh, uh, you know I'm at a events. International you're a, well, you're a well-traveled man. International Playboy. Uh, <laughs> some international lover boy. I have been told like called that in Glasgow Live. Uh, so <laughs> in an you? article in a tiny article on the fifty second page. Oh, uh, Glasgow uh, International Playboy oh, like Evan that. Riley has been let out of jail. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. But um Sven Vath at Riverside, which it was like called like Electric Frog or something. Ah, it wasn't yeah, even yeah, like I remember this that. is like way back in the day, I remember that was like one of the first things I seen like that, like live and I was just like was it the like the light, light show and shit? Ah, it was like it was everything, bro. bro it was because I feel Papa like Papa Sven. See, when it comes to, I've only ever been. To, well, I've been to like fucking Trezor and Berlin and that. Like, I've been to big places like that, but oh. never mad festival ones. But um, the only th- things I've seen that have mad incredible light shows are like mad the Australian Pink Floyd or like right. Calvin Harris when I was a wee guy and all that. Oh, Calvin man. Harris famously sings do do do. Was that the song you were talking about? No, I wasn't talking about the song. I was just wanting to see. Aye, because it's so funny. You get like ten different replies. But cunts were DMing me, going, "This is the song you're thinking about, mate," and sending Vince. What did you tweet? Tell because obviously. Oh, sorry. I so I tweeted, "What's that song that goes do 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 do?" And like cunts were like, "Obviously, it's this and that." I'm like, "How can you?" I love how confident people are. It's if like. Every song doesn't have that in it. Because but see if you're hanging a song, see you're hanging a do 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 You'd be like do 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 you just need me. So like so I was just wanting to see the array of people's like subconscious. It was actually it was a small study I was doing for the the British Library. Is that the British Library? Where's that, bro? Mate, I drove by it the other day coming next, up for next, London. Next day back in Pan. Back. Mate, I drove by it coming up for London. The it's just Brit- like a big warehouse, man. Cause it's cause that has just to like keep a big a copy. Tiles. <laughs> that has to keep a copy of every single published thing. Um, no, I but I so Sven Vath, Riverside, then another night sub club. It was a Thursday. Jackmaster. I was there. Oh, man, were you? I was there. Mate, mate that was five hours or something. I mate it was. Un- was it was. Oh mate, nothing hits that like that like, sub club. We must mid-week, have been like seventeen bro. or sixteen or something. Like, I was underage. I have remembered getting in, being up, I was in a bit. I no, I was no. Maybe we went. Maybe I think a different. He would have played them. Um, aye, aye, aye. So maybe I think a different nights. I was. I was. Old, I was definitely older. Right. Aye. But um, Jackmaster, wowzers! It was insane. And then the other one I'm thinking of is like. Um, at Hideout, we were at Hideout, and there was like, um, it was like, it was like J- they used to call themselves like Jesus, but it was like because of all the initials, and it was like Jackmaster eats everything. Um, wait, no, was it? Uh, J- no, 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 Jasper James. Um, it was Seth. I so Jackmaster eats everything. Seth Troxler. That was the Seth. And Troxler, then right. it was Scream. I think. Can you search that just for peace of mind? Sk- or just, slam, just maybe? like slam. G- you know I maybe it was. was? No, just type in like j.e.s.u.s and then hide out. I but I think the U was like that wasn't the actual thing. It was just like they just put I that in the middle that. and make it Jesus. Sort I of remember thing. that it was like a big fucking back to back. Mate, but uh, th- them at hideout and like I can't remember what beach club it was. It was just now that way during it you're actually like oh my that that's no happen to me a lot because I want to say music like that is like my like what I'm Aye. my main music um, t- like genre would be, but. Seen it live and then it's when like it's good, I, when it's good and when it's live and you're like, we're a good crowd of people in that. 
So I it is. It's um, Jackmaster. He's everything scream Seth Troxler. That's what it is. But pff, wow, unreal, mate. Um, I was thinking about this, and I was like, Do you want to give an honourable mention to Etten? Can I, you think Etten? I've got two things in my mind, right? Because like, see what I like. It's heavy. Like it's no like I've came away for gigs and done that was class and cunts are like was they that good mate so I seen like Joy Orbison mm-hmm. at Subby and I was like pure blown away by the because his tunes are obviously pure weird and shit and it was just like one of the kind of first times I'd heard shit like that and also I seen uh, Robert Hood at Subby and I was you know how when Never Grow Old was like a mad anthem and me and my pal Mick were going to Subby all the time and. We were pure, like, we used to sit and, like, when we were on it, talk about that tune and be like, mate, I'm actual pure shite to be old, not like, <laughs> well, like mate, actual mind saying, imagine being, like, 25. Like, oh. <laughs> I was pure scared of it, mate, and we used to listen to that tune and be pure fucked, and when that came on at Subby, I was like, this is a pure place, man, this is it, man, this, this is, is it, mate. <laughs> it's like that bit, it's, that, it's like that bit in, like, every mad movie like Mad Football Hill Girl movie it's probably like what else are you gonna fucking do eh <laughs> F- fucking go out and fucking wank the shit fuck, it, fuck that for a fucking laugh no? you wanna go up and go to the fucking football was it all worth it Cause it uh, fucking was <laughs> <laughs> mate, that's the best video ever it's getting like, the plaster sort oh, of on that amazing mate amazing but, but I so that's just like my um, my fucking like my, my two cents I, we've got another one here, Josh Millen, right? He says Dream Festival lineup, but we've done that. We've kind of done that. I, I, I would, I would maybe. That's I would, hard, mate. I, I would like to just change it. Like, what did we say before? I said like the Strokes. See, we picked like three headliners: Strokes, Kanye, and fucking somebody else. Fuck knows. But I would like to, you, mate. You said Tyler the Creator, which was such a shout. Aye, I that, would. Um, that's just like I like. I would like to see him. Basically. Aye, that's that's what it's about. But uh, like, but, but but maybe I mean, are we, is this Dream Festival is in turned on a profit here? Oh, Dream Festival. <laughs> mate, we'll get K pop. Mate, mate, what? <laughs> like, tell me, like, what you think, right? Like, if like, say you got unlimited budget, right? Like, because we've already answered this question. I think I said Tyler the Creator, Skepta, Skepta, and fucking. Um, Nirvana. I think I said Nirvana, but that's obviously no even possible. Aye, but but I think the question at the time was... It's a dream, bro. Anyway. It, it can happen a dream, <laughs> as, as you know, for what I... <laughs> drink, what I, I um, but, so... I so what we'll say is, like, you can put on three headliners, right? Friday, Saturday, Sunday, right? Right. But it needs to... It, like, and there's, like, unlimited tickets, the, the tickets, but they can only be alive, people, right? Are, are we the capitalists here? Are we... we are trying to, like, who... who what artist do you put on the three headliners to make the most money? I'll tell you the new, mate. Right. Because I'll get it. BTS. Right. Stack BTS on, mate. And what night? Right. <laughs> <laughs> what night? <laughs> you should see a little place at your lights. Well, you need to right, use them right, in the right, Friday. Right, right. So they've travelled right, up. So it's, no, this is it, right. Friday, Friday night. This is where we're going to. Ca- is it? Is it just what bands that are about the new? Things that are about the new. Anybody that's alive that could like, and I'm I'm not talking like I get like fucking Tom Jones, but he's like twenty. Do you know Aye. what I mean? Can he be like that? Right, right, it's right. Like the new mate, right, Aye. new bro, right. <laughs> yeah, the yeah, new. Hurry up, right. mate. The Friday night, right? We capture all the maws and like aunties, and we get Ed Sheeran on. Ed Sheeran, right. we get Ed Sheeran on for all the maws and that, and it's like, oh, it's Friday, oh, we're going out. No, it's just like a wee. Bro, I don't know if if you ever spoke to somebody and said what music do you like, and they've said. Ed Sheeran. Aye. Who? My auntie Nikki, mate. Why are you asking your auntie what music she likes, man? <laughs> mate, I think she was said she was going to see him, and that's what's made me think of that. Right, right, right. Like, do you know what I mean? Okay, It's a good unit. It's a good unit. We can't deny it. I should have said maybe Paul McCartney or something, somebody bigger. But I'm sticking with it, right? We get all the aunties and the maws in. The Saturday. The Saturday. Get Harry Styles. <laughs> Mate, Harry Styles sells tickets, bro. Mate, he played Ibrooks, bro, instead of Hamden. Don't chat to <laughs> me about Harry true. Styles. I mean, they're the same capacity, Mate, you can get anybody, bro. Who, who would sell Here's my Friday, who bro. Who sells tickets? Mate, shut the fuck up, mate. Right, right. Here's my fucking Friday night. Right. Know who's coming on first? Rolling Stones. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you, mate. What was that? Tw- you see what I'm saying? 12 man? nights at the Hydro or something. 80, 84 nights at the Hydro, bro. <laughs> 1,000 nights at the Hydro. <laughs> mate, then Saturday, Kevin Bridges. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to sell, bro. <laughs> no, saying. Friday night, Rolling Stones, um, or easing us into things. And then, 
I'm trying to turn a profit here, isn't I? I'm taking. I'm going to take BTS as well. I think that's a very strategic. You get move. the. You get the international. Get them on the Saturday. Let the let the international people fly in. That's what they I was might thinking. miss a Friday. You'll get good midweek flights <laughs> to wherever this is. <laughs> uh, and <laughs> hydro. <laughs> green. <laughs> uh, uh, green eye. So I'm going BTS, and then we'll, we need something to top us off, man. So let's try and think of something that's we we would maybe what, enjoy. Think, you, let's seller. make one together. Is this? Do you want to? Right, I'll have BTS. Right. You're Rolling Stones. A ticket seller, a Post Malone or something, one of them. Oh, God, oh, Joe. I'm trying to sell tickets. Joe, shame, 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 shame. Joe, shame. everybody, bro. I'm talking everybody that's alive. Well, there's people that don't even know who Post Malone is. <laughs> Mate, there's a lot of people who don't know. <laughs> things like Mate, Doja Cat, that. Right. The right. modern thing, this you're is the tickets. You're man. talking Doja Cat, right. that's better. That, that is, is better. better, but I still but, know. But why don't I throw Beyonce in there? Oh, see? I Jay-Z, can you explain <laughs> your big <Mike> post for <laughs> <laughs> Joe, Mate, everybody, can you, bro. Can you maybe win it? Or ASAP or something? Like the full ASAP mob? So Tim we enjoy it. Team and Team and Pal. Oh, I'm about Team and Pal. Leaper, Leaper. Mate, I no, Team and Pal. Jewel Leaper, Jewel Leaper. The Cortinas? <laughs> Get smoke bombs on the, the door. The Cortinas? What's that one? Catfish in the bottom end? Yeah. The view? And then the view to top off. Oh, <laughs> finishing that? <laughs> Mate, see, be fair. Who I, we go? Who we go? Rolling uh, Stones, BTS, we'll it'd be Kanye. Kanye's box office, mate, bro. Can you put can you remodel those hussies and put them in water on the stage and shit, mate? Can you build gone. mountains for these stages? What sets? about that? How much money Wait, would I'll that be? Here it is. <laughs> the end of this. Is it, Are we adding another night here? I, I can't throw this is the, the Monday. I, I can't throw the mic away after this. Like you, I like you can throw Just it away. Throw it across the room, but <laughs> you too. Oh, strong Joe. Mate, and that's a Monday night, you get the businessman in. Mind, <laughs> mind, mind you, I, I, the guys who like, didn't want to pay the flights, but they flew up like business class in the morning, yeah. Uh, mate, fuck, mind you, mind you woke up and that U2 album was just on, on your, your phone. phone. That, mate, that is, that is, nobody's ever done that I since. Guess. So, that is a different type of power somebody's got. I and I'm, I'm taking Bono them. in it. What, we're adding the Monday and we're putting Bono on the stage. You, I can actually tell you how that happened. Tell me how, I'm man. I'm how he knows oh, this shit, mate. Bro. See the product red phones you get? Uh-huh. That charity is a charity. It goes to like AIDS or something. <laughs> and it's no funny, right? <laughs> Bust it laughing. <laughs> I was trying to fix my headphones. I just like, heard some about AIDS. It's like, like in like my damn ad, um, your like sexual health class or something. Fucking like <laughs> I like, and then you put the condom. <laughs> <laughs> then she just said condom. And this is a. Picture. And she's a lady. I uh, mean, see if I was in charge of one of any classes, I'd show them all gonorrhea and all that. Right here, look at right. Here's a cock. Right, <laughs> call that a cock. Here's a cock. Right, what are you saying, Joe? Sorry. So. It's a charity for AIDS or some shit, right? So that charity was owned by Bono and Apple wanted to like get product read, so they did the deal of saying like they did a few things throughout the year. But then Steve Jobs died. So the deal after that was like we'll just put an album on for free and give it to everybody. Wow. Like, everybody, people started saying, I don't want this album on my phone because it was at the time. You couldn't you delete it, couldn't you? You only had like eight gigabyte on your phone at the time. <laughs> you get a, like, a full album on it, people taking it up. <laughs> Mate, do you know what? That <laughs> against your will. And they had to make a website saying like I do not want this album. You had to go through a mad painstaking process to get Here, the album on How the no, here's right, we're saying how many U2 s- s- songs can you name? I mean, I quite like you too. Right, how I many? Bet, still only about five on the spot, probably. You <laughs> know what I mean? But I do think they're all right. They're like my, like a mad uncle band now. Is, oh, the aunties, who, who are you getting the aunties in? Ed, Ed oh, you were saying Ed Sheeran, but... That's an auntie singer, mate. Come on. But I'm thinking, does... Ed Sheeran's international, eh? Aye. Well international. Big time, aye. Big time. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, yeah? He, Big time, yeah? He's profit, bro. If we're talking international, we can't leave out Ed Sheeran, yeah? <laughs> you do, uh, the words go together. You, you can't mention one without the other. So you, sound like, the you sound like a, a pundit saying, if we're talking about the best ever, you got to see Neymar's in with a show. Well, uh, if you look at numbers, <laughs> pure numbers, take your opinions on the boy out of it. You're looking at pure numbers here. Neymar's up there with the very best. Yes. I mean, he's, he's he's much maligned. Much oh, oh. That. <laughs> Me, I love when uh, you ever heard like you ever went on BT Sport and it's um, they mad like American pundits. Oh, they're oh, oh mate, me, give me the, a, they're mad. See the ESPN and they, they pronounce all like the Spanish words pure. 
um, een gegele gereed. Goes to the FC Barcelona. <laughs> Mate, but see the ESPN or Fox or whatever that, that show Barca games? They've got a Scottish guy as co commentator. Like a pure, he's like the, the most famous one. Like now that guy you're talking about, and he's like, D- is it and Luis Suarez uh, with the goal? It'll go like, oh, it was an amazing goal, John. Just do it. Like he's a co commentator. I don't know who it is. I think it's great. Might be that Graham Armstrong or something. Uh, no, I know him. He wrote the game. He wrote the game. <laughs> <laughs> Graham Hunter, the one that's a mad Barcelona correspondent. Uh, it might be him. I'm oh, aye, uh, he's right in. He's Spanish football. That can. Um, aye, but so we better get going aye. on these, right? So. What, we'll, we'll end on the video so Dream Festival we've done that rate Scottish scheme dinners tier list well, that'll need to be a f- that'll take too long we'll need to do we'll do that in the next that's gonna that's a great idea that was uh, Ross that, that uh, said that we will do that we'll do it in a longer video though because we, it, it needs its own time that's not something that you can just fling things out and no expect what, a conversation what, well, geez, so, like, so I was thinking the day when I seen this what is like the most like scheme, no, like scheme, no scheme dinner, but like dinner, like that gives that mad impression like, of, that you've you can remember having. Uh, oh right, well there's one uh, for back in the day. There's one I'd still probably have the new, but one for back in the day is uh, a Finder's crispy pancake. You ever had one of them, mate? No, mate. So that's like frozen shit for Iceland and that, and it's like breaded like ham with like, a mad bit of cheese inside it, and it's like a mad pocket like that. It's mad, mate. It's it's, it's no nice at all. I think it cost like twenty pence, mate. So it was just like every way in the world had one for a bit. <laughs> what a chalk ice. Uh, exactly, mate. But one that I've like the, the one I originally thought I was like potato smileys, mm. beans, and like fish fingers. But I think like that's like I, I like that taste. Like, mate, see if you put that in front of me. Oh. I mean, of course. It's all kind of the one, everything's just one flavour. But like that would still be enjoyable to eat. No what I hate, mate. I hate a, a dinner that's like wee bit of ham, wee bit of deck, wee bit of lettuce. Oh, a I plowman's. Oh, a plowman, mate. Mate, I seen a shove it up your plowman, that's what I'm saying, mate. <laughs> I seen a cunt making a plowman nachos, mate. Ham, oh. ham, cheese, bread, and all that. that. Oh, bro. <laughs> uh, this is the thing. Like, see all the ingredients? Like, I could have, apart from the boiled egg, we know my history with the boiled egg. <laughs> let's get it out of the way. But fucking, see, like, a bit of ham. Of course, I like a bit of ham on a roll. Aye. I, I like fucking, like, coleslaw. But it's just like. Oh, with chips or something. Aye. Aye, but no, it needs crunch. Mate, mate I need fucking crunch with my food, mate. Aye. If there's no crunch, mate, get it's it. It's a plowman, man, anyway. Is it like the guy that Plowman's. gets all his snow away? <laughs> Plowman lunch. It's the man that goes out and <laughs> plows, of course. <laughs> he plows the drives. Aye, fuck knows. But, mate, my granny makes, I always say she makes uh, war ration meals. Like, I slag her for it all the time. She makes me, like, if I go up for dinner, sometimes she'll make me, like, ham. Like, she watches this, gran, so this is, I'm calling you out here. So calling makes, out like, your gran, how classy, mate. <laughs> she makes, like, ham with, like, cabbage and, like, mashed totties and then a bit of, like, beetroot. But it's it actually lot. nice, but right. no, but I get you because, like, even like, see, even like my mom and dad, like, they won't make that right, but like, I'll be like that. I'm going to this place, like, I think I was talking about Gaga. I mean, we went to Gaga, uh, yeah, yeah. by the way, shout out to Gaga uh, and Partick. Wow, Great unbelievable free ad, but <laughs> um, unbelievable. Get yourself down there, Aye. wow. Uh, but we were out there, and I was like, remember, I said to them, I was with them, I was like, oh, fucking, wait, this Gaga it was amazing, and that, and they were like, Oh, like, what shows the menu? And I was like reading it out, and it was like something, something pork belly and all that. It's like, but it's so good, it's so tasty. And they're like, oh no, 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 that like, <laughs> I had too much flavour. Uh, that. Too much. <laughs> <laughs> now they start going like, I, see, if, mate, see if I give like my mom a sour sweetie or something. They're just like, it's like they're so much more like sensitive to that than us. Like we're just like, because we grew up pure at, like eight years old eating, eating, bra- not. eating brain liquors. No, I mean, <laughs> they didn't they grow up there, mate. We've we've grew up in a we've grew up in a kind of uh, an environment of extremes, extreme Aye. taste, extreme this, extreme that, extreme entertainment and shit. Which is like it's like see when see mate, my dad sometimes comes into my room and goes, "Are you watching TikToks, listening to a podcast, playing the computer all at the one time?" And I'm like, "Aye," and he's like. How can you? How can that even work for you? Because uh, like, just that's what you're used to, mate. Getting pure bombarded with uh, shit. Do you know what I mean? Uh, they are just like, no, they've no got that. Uh, they're, they're like processing speed, sort of. Isn't it? <laughs> they're they're ram. Uh, their ram is not as big as old, bro. <laughs> uh, but I. Uh, so we better move on to another one. What? Where? Let's let's pick one. Uh, uh, Rabab says Om um, Shinrikyo, which is like a a 
Aum Shinriku is like a Japanese cult that like got huge, like massive, oh. and like they had all like the top like uh, Japanese fucking scientists and all that working for them. They were going to build like nuclear bombs and shit. Do you know gas something? I made the 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 big attack was on Tokyo in the subway. They end up like killing people and all that, and um, he end up getting like sentenced to oh. to life. But but that's like a deep fried. That's a topic that's on deep fried. Aye, that's a Patreon on deep fried. So um, we we will cover that because we're doing like um, next next month in the Patreon we're doing a deep fried on Jonestown, uh, the People's Temple, Jim Jones. We just done Mans in there, so we could even keep our wee aye that cult kind of flow going. going. Aye. aye, that's definitely something we'll cover. But again, it's it's a bit um, too big a subject to, aye, just, to just rattle off. Aye. Uh, the Mandela effect, Gary Hamilton says. So, mate, the Mandela effect interests me Can a you, lot. Oh, I, I, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You know when Joe shakes his head. Oh, it something, is. He hates something. Right, Taylor Joe. What well, is well, it? Well, wait. Will I, will I get up a few examples? Yeah, yet? I do that. I, I used to like the Mandela effect. Like, <laughs> while you know, know what examples, right? I used to think it was good. But every one of them... You can just be like, all right, you just thought that, but it's no. I like, like it's no actual one. big deal. Mate, this is uh, the one that, f- that fucks my head. Looney Tunes is used, I thought it was Looney Tunes. No, because no, you said tunes, like C H. But like, I thought that was the mad badge. Do you know what I mean? Uh, no, I, I knew it was tunes. You say tunes, like, you, you tunes. wouldn't say tun, you say tunes. Aye, but I just thought that See, was the badge, mate, right? I'm not here for an... T-U-N-E, man. I, I don't that's, want the way, that's the way dumb people say it. <laughs> Look, new tunes. What's with the Spanish Inquisition here? <laughs> I just thought it was a badge. Get us another one, then. Um, right, so, Curie's George never had a tail. I don't even but know the that only guy. Bro. Should have so, a tail because he's a monkey. But is that the guy that program? It's not real. So is that the guy that broke into that bank? Uh, so he was he, actually like that, which looks fucked to me. That is like almost like um, he looks like very boyish. There, he looks like a little monkey boy. <laughs> aye, aye, he's up, standing up straight in that, isn't it? Uh, aye, it's a cartoon, but, mate. Aye, aye, well, you know they should probably just calm down a bit. Right, I've got one for you. Right, what is? What is the the program? It sounds like just like a quiz question. <laughs> <mate>. <laughs> what is? <laughs> they, they are, it's an American sitcom that ran for ages. I think it had films and that, and it's like lassies in a city. What is that program called, Joe? Sex in the city. Sex and the city. It's called Sex and the city. It's That's what there. I said. I. I thought it was in. But you just say it's like a rolling chips. Aye. But you know, like, you don't know. It's know that you. <laughs> I don't know what you're saying. I don't know if I'm saying a roll <laughs> and <laughs> chips or a roll Here's and like it just sounds exactly like sex because it's like mm, can be used for like in and and. and. Aye, I get and you. Not in Mate, and there and. There is, oh, there is explanations for them, but it's cool. No, but I get I get you. It's like um, the one, the the best one's about like actual Ma- Mandela. Like he, you think he died in jail. I, I didn't and he didn't, though. he came I'm out. A, well, I said they were on something about, oh no, I won't be in the podcast. But, that was the despicable thing I said. What did you say? I said, you can bleep we'll it. bleep this, but I said, like, ma. <laughs> like, raging bursts its way out, but I wanted it to come out, like, mournfully, like Nelson Mandela. And I wanted them to say, I was in there for too long. Right. We all know that was wrong. Right. But I'm coming out with a bit of dignity. Right, okay. okay. With Disney. It busts out its we'll, we'll, like, bleep the first half of that, and then people will be like, what the fuck is he talking about? <laughs> um, aye, so there, there is a lot more. So, like, Febreze. Did you think Febreze had Feb- like Febreze in it? Aye, Febreze, aye. But did you think we it are crushing the, the Mandela it's effect? It's got to have like three E's or something. Aye, like two E's. Oh, I didn't know that. No, no, it did. That Disney, but oh, I knew that. <laughs> <laughs> but I thought it got me that man. No, see, you've not been done by it, mate. But Mandela can't affect me, mate. Does that look right to you for Monopoly? It doesn't have a monocle. Doesn't he have legs? It, it's actually that. <laughs> it's, it's, he's got legs, mate. He runs what? about. Aye, Look, but I just like it's 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 a cartoon, did you say? Aye, that's true. But I, I thought he had a wee monocle, but I think that might be because. Oh, does the, he not have a monocle? No, but that might be because the Pringles guys get a monocle or something. Aye, that you is that's I mean? a good like, one. That's the best one. Oh, this is a good one. This is a good one. Do you like Pokemon? Did you watch Pokemon when you were wee, or like play the games and shit? Did I play Pokemon? Uh, aye, 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 aye. Sorry, so, I pure good don't do that. I something wrong. <laughs> bullies, man. And Did scale. I say Pokemon? You watch fucking Pokemon? That was a PTSD <laughs> for getting bullied. <laughs> I thought I said something wrong. Did you <laughs> your mum? Come on, sorry. Is <laughs> this? <laughs> we need to bleep that and all. Uh, Does that look right to you for wee Pikachu? It looks perfectly normal. He doesn't have that wee streak in his tail. Aye. 
What? But you would think he would. No, I mean, this is what I'm trying to say. That, they are good ones. They are good it's ones. It's cool that, like, a lot of the... Common misconceptions. Conceptions? Conceptions. <laughs> conceptions. <laughs> yeah, what You're is always it? saying conceptions. <laughs> it's the best, mate, because that's, like, two different words you've said. <laughs> 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 Right, I don't know if we've kept What is in. a misconception? That's what I want to know, bro. Let's find out. That you've ate somebody else's dinner? People, people say shit like misconstrued and all that. And I mean, you can uh, say whatever you want. It's like, no, what no, no. Is but it is miscon- so misconsumption, also called misuse, is consumption that brings harmful results rather than benefits. Sounds so like that's, that's products like... Products commonly called as um, misconsumption include alcohol. Ha- what were we even talking about that I said that? Misconceived Mandela affects me. Oh, that's it's not that. So <laughs> <laughs> we've dusted them. Um, that is not that, bro. I think we've, we've kind of dusted through the Mandela effect. So do you want to move on to Carly Bowen's question? More about the kids who believed that they had lived lives before, like on the Big Miz app. Again, well, maybe... I, that is a whole... Why, well, we'll get Miz on and we'll do a full deep fried about that. That sounds good, Dai. We'll do that then. Um, and we'll, we'll just save all these questions for, like, if we need to go into them deeper at one Aye. point. Um, and then we can move on to Big Miz himself. That's a bit of a... a Big Miz has commented, the Stanford prison experiment. Mate, people are wanting us to do video essays today. Man. I know. It's, mate, it's just be fucking about... <laughs> The sta- well, like, have you heard? I'm a fucking about the day. Would you want us to date? Um, Gaze an essay on... Uh, Mate, have you heard about the, Stan- the, the Stanford prison experiment? I feel like I've heard it, but... So it was like, um, see Stanford University? Ah, yeah, yeah. They done, I don't know how many students it was and stuff, but they go, like, made some of them guards and some of them prisoners mm-hmm. for a while. And it was like an experiment to see if hierarchies would come or they would they would still have that humanistic, like, this is my classmate, you know what I mean? Like, right, right, this right. isn't he. But it went fucked, and, like, see, I, I don't know if that, how true all this shit is, but I think it there's was, like... A, there's an episode of Big Miz, mate, the Stanford Prison Expert. Miz, if you're listening, come on and we'll date together, mate. You big handsome piece of shit. Come through that screen, baby boy, <laughs> and we can... Uh, jump it. We know you're in there. Uh, we know you're watching. <laughs> we know. Uh, aye, so we, we, can, uh, we can do a deep fried with Big Miz and do more kids for the... Past life. For the, for that have past life. Block. And then we can do the Stanford Prison Experiment as well. Right, so do you want to go into a couple of wee videos, mate? Yeah, we do have a wee couple of videos. Um, well, I've got Judge Judy69 um, react <laughs> to Savagely Ekid Bastard this site. <laughs> react to Savagely Ekid Bastard if you haven't seen it before. <laughs> that must be a video is, called is, Savagely Ekid Bastard. I kind of hope he just called them that. Oh, it's blown a gilded here, like. What is that? Good. Is that that? <laughs> I just dropped five ekkies. I'm starting to feel a bit like. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, you can I'm coming up. Ah, oh my ah, god, no. oh, oh, so, That's god. something in a film, and it's just like. just talking all that. Oh, oh mate! Did you think something was that? That was a documentary, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this guy's ripping it, he's not. Jesus. I've never seen that. That's funny, man. That is funny. Mate, see. Mate, do you know what's so funny about that? You can tell it's just like. Pals in a house, and this has come on, and he's been like, right here, I'm running the video on Beyond belief, Because he's wearing this trackie at all, he's wearing a mad old trackie, mate, I actually looked like it there. I had, a, I had an idea, like, ages ago about wanting to do a mad mockumentary about a cunt who, like, every, like, he's, like, he took too many eckies one night and every time he hears like a mad certain tune he just gets fleeing again cause he, cause he was like that ripping That'd that night so, so it's like his brain just goes back into being fleeing and he's like fleeing in the middle like he gets caught driving and all that and he's like I swear to god mate it's, 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 I, it's, but how it's pure ruining his life if you know what I mean mate do you know what it could be like a mad if you made that a mad pro, a little film or something it could be like do you know how in like misfits, I'm mad. Like, d- have you watched that? Aye, aye. I'm mad. Uh, like lightning, like storm thing happens, aye. and then later all that aye. because of that, it could be like something happened that night. They like, touched a speaker, and, like, <laughs> the and it's like a mad power he's got now that he can just be fleeing. Aye, he's he instantly fleeing. <laughs> I mean, that'd be class. He's putting Barbara Streisand like that. 
but nah. but people could use it against like remember the mad <laughs> advert you remember the mad diet advert I think it was like Skittles or something it was like everything the guy touched tur- just turned immediately uh, turned Skittles. Skittles that's scary <laughs> Do you right, Jamie? Imagine having your touch top to Skittles, mate. Oh, bro. How would you know just be Skittles then? Because it's like, it's like, um, it's like that mad guy. We all touch ourselves. Everything he touches turns to goals. Is that that Erling Haaland guy? Can I know? Oh, no. <laughs> Fall for more footy banter. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I. It's like that. I, I think it's an old. Uh, it's a biblical thing. I've written something. Somebody touched turn to gold. Midas. Uh, Midas. Midas. Midas, Midas touch. It's a Roman mythology. Uh, mm. A bit of Ro- I, I do like the Romans. Uh, but I cheers for that, Judge Judy sixty nine. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we've got Chrissy Smith wants us to react to Davy here to his TikToks. Some quality scan. You as well love trips. I think he means scan. I, I've Oris. seen this guy. If you, I think if it's who I'm thinking of, can we, can we try and get it up? Right, so this is Davy here to his scrans or scans. Right, Davy here. This is what I'm uh, going to make for my lunch today. I've got co-op, cream of tomato soup, a hot dog roll. I'm going to put some cheese and mayonnaise on it. Mm. I'm going to do it. mayonnaise. Oh, mate, that is fucking... Show me it, show me it. Oh, I sorry. That's a cheese. <laughs> it was squirting mayo oil at it, mate. What? I mean, he's, he's obviously seen like a mad. Is that soup? That was tomato soup with mayonnaise, cheese. I mean, he's what obviously seen like a picture of like a mad soup hunt. that's got like a bit of like cream. Um, eye cream at the top of it and like got a, a wee bit of parsley or something in it. I mean, what if it's amazing, but. Davey, if you're listening, do you want to come on this podcast and talk about your scran, mate? <laughs> a genuine invite. We lost John Peters. <laughs> He's gone. Mate, John Peters, the one that got away from me, mate. <laughs> the one that got John away. John Peters had so much potential, bro. Jinx, so? Let's, wa- let's watch one Watch man. one man of these. Hey, Davey here. Got a few chicken boys left, so. One for me, one for the cat. Yeah, he's he's awesome. the joints now, like I, mean, I think that's him a different cunt, or like, no, maybe it's not. Ah, it's the same, same vibe. He's like, all right, yeah, got mine. He's like, always got raw skins. Uh, yeah. It's like a pie and then like a can of coke. It's like, that was my dad. Maybe I've just found the the wrong one. No, no, it's definitely. It because it had raws in it or something. Aye, maybe. maybe aye. Aye, but if he just catch chicken balls, man, it's a bit <laughs> cruelty. Is that not? Is that cruelty? Or like treating the cat very well. I bet the cat likes it, Aye. but it's like you give your dog chocolate, it'll love it, but it doesn't mean it's a good thing for the, the, the dog. <laughs> right. I guess a myth, man. Have like they ever tested that? It's no, mate. My my dad used to give my dog fucking um, my my old dog who's died now, of course, of due, chocolate poisoning. due to the chocolate overdose. <laughs> um, used to overdose. used to used to give her, um, I think it's like Milky Stars or something, bro, mm. or like cho- a wee packet of chocolate buttons on a oh, Friday. Don't mind that. No, no, a full packet, like a cup, a couple of it, but years of abusing chocolate, mate, for a dog, it's like mate, his black his, tar heroin, mate. His dogs, his sausage dogs, go through, like, seeing my room, I had like a. Mad box, I like Christmas chocolate. Not how like Mad Buzz oh. that were chocolate and like just mad like fucking gold button buttons and all that, ah, mate. Yeah. And I actually ran through the lot of it, mate. Like a full oh shoe God. box like that, mate. This tiny wee dog just sitting like that, pure. It's just, <laughs> it's just sound, mate. He's just oh, he's disproved Made of the stale, theory, mate. Stuff. Maybe uh, that's how you think it's a myth, bro. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, but I so that thanks for the thanks for the the, the, the food ideas, Chrissy Smith. That was good. Aye, so Dylan Jackson's asked us to react to this video of his pal on Monday for the first time in 2018. So, so very Love specific. dropping the, the date in, <laughs> man. Year, mate. It, was a, it was a glorious it's a, time. He's got it tattooed, man. Mate, so, oh, fuck, I've clicked off it now. Jamie! <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. Jamie, honest to God. It's just embarrassing, isn't it, me doing that? Right, Trips. Oh my God. Mama wants me to move home and mourn ever. But I can that my jaw is fucking swinging because of her. Swinging? Oh, oh, oh. oh, what the eyes, mate? The eyes be nice. Yeah, man. Yeah. This is a new fucking sexy here. It's got to be smoking green, man. I told you that. Oh, mate. This is the weekend drug, man. Monday. Oh, that. 
Oh, that bud just fizzed up all over the table. It's Monday, mate. No, it's fucking Monday. Monday, Monday. I'm totally going to put on the dish. Mango, mango. Woo! Oh, mate. Mate, yeah, do you know what? Lying, mate, bro. do you know what, like, makes the video so much madder as well for, like, you know how he's feeling Aye, at that moment. Like, it. you can feel it. Like, ooh, like, like, woo, not like, woo, not that. That's the best shit you do. Like, mate, woo, mate, just mate, mate, like, why did I do it? Mate, see, the first time I ever took Mandy, I was, like, heavy young, and I fucking, I was sitting right, and I was, I took one cap, and I was going, so I, oh, fucking Mandy, man. She kept saying that, mate. Oh, my God. I kept going, fucking, no, it wasn't even Mandy. I don't even know if cunts called that. No. I just kept saying, MDMA, man. Oh, yes. MDMA, man. Oh, I've got it. It's a pretty best thing ever, man. Mate, how funny is this, right? Could you your lap. Oh, <laughs> oh, no. There's a cunt, right? I won't name him, because I just don't want to shame him, but... I was like, I we grew up when it was like, he had, we were at this big party and my pal, I think it was, it was Joe's gaff, right? We're in Joe's gaff, mm. all sorts of cunts there. So he, it was like, run about that time, like we were all getting fucking, fuck, fuck, we were all taking eckies, right? And he hadn't, he had, sorry, he hadn't done it before, right? So he was like, oh, um, I'm going to date tonight, and all that, right? And I'm like, all right, man, like fucking enjoy, bro. Aye. And uh, he kept walking about going, <laughs> nah, like, how do you actually think I'm dating for my first flea, but... <laughs> what in, what in great what in my trip advisor review <laughs> like, um, was really pleasant didn't he seem weird at all <laughs> but, like, he was like but he was going to ruin everybody like pure like they had done it pure would you actually think of me mate and there was a point right how mad is this right I, I, I wish I could find this picture I think it's, it's one of the pictures that I wish I could get I will try and get it for the podcast um, there's a picture of him right and it's like later in the night when it had really hit in right and he's sitting right like that, like pure leaning right on on a couch, right like that. But he's no even sitting on a couch. He's sitting. My pal had like fell asleep on the couch, and he's sitting on top of my pal, thinking he's a couch like that. He's pure ripping it. Oh, right. He's not like you're, now that way. You're that like your mind's that gone that you're like he didn't even notice some. He was a sitting on somebody. <laughs> Mate, how do you right? So see if you picture. The feeling he was feeling at that time, right? And say to me, like, how did you come down for my first time? Whacked it out, right? Right. So you want me to say it? Aye, aye. Right. So you're him and you need to embody how he's feeling and all. Right. right, right. J- Jamie! Aye, mate. Come here, mate. Come here. Aye, what's happening? Um, are you having a good night, aye? Aye, aye. It's all right, mate, aye. Aye, it's actually quite good, isn't it? Um, aye, it's, it's fine, mate, aye. Um... Obviously, like, we're actual pals, aren't we? We could tell the truth to each other, right? Aye, mate, aye. You can tell me anything. Um, how, like, obviously, my, how, how do you think I'm, like, doing for, like, my first flea? Mate, you're, you're really, you're creeping people out. You're, you're being really weird. All the lassies want to leave. What? Really? They keep asking me who you are, even though they know you, because your face is that twisted, mate, and I don't. Even though if it? I want you here now, either. Is it actual twisted? Aye, it's all twisted up to fuck, mate. And well, I, I, just, I, I, fuck like, I don't make you feel bad because like, you're a nice guy, but like, see this going up to people and asking how you're doing? Nobody cares, mate. Nobody wants you here. Right. How do you think I'm doing for my first labour? <laughs> <laughs> mate, but imagine somebody said that to you. Like, no, mate, you're being heavy. <laughs> you're you're mate. creeping you cunts out, bro. Like, what, man? Oh, jeez, man. But um, do you want to... Finish up on a, a sick ass diss. Oh my god. Aye, so thanks. Who was that that sent that in? Um, Dylan Jackson. Wow, that was a mental video, mate. Thanks for that. I enjoyed but, that. Um, aye, let's end it on. We did promise you it's this is the the Abram Hill, Abram Hill, Abram Hill, don't know, Abram Hill diss 2010. Is it a radio edit? We're doing it. Uh, <laughs> I, I think we might. We, we'll just let's why, see how it goes. Let's why see don't it. see instead of like the closing intro, we'll just have this. This could be our outro. Aye, ah, yeah, aye, the closing intro. I'm a fucking idiot, man. I fucking honestly don't know what the fuck I'm doing with my life. <laughs> <laughs> In front of it, behind it, mate. Right, trip. So. We did promise at the end we would listen to the, the filthiest diss in history. So let's get it on, man. Let's hear it's, it. I'm just remembering now that it's like Slim Shady himself that is oh, singing no. this song. We might get copyrighted, ah, we'll man. get struck. Might be a good idea to just leave it, I think. Right, well, we could we could do it on the Patreon at one point. Aye. Aye, we can do it on the Patreon. We'll do like, oh my God, we could do like a diss episode on the Patreon, which is like... Um, or the ones that are the like filth. the filthiest <laughs> uh, 
Aye, so, so sorry about that, but I mean, that's I mean, we do need to watch because, like, we've been flagged for a few videos, like the other Diz videos yeah. we've been flagged, so we need to actually, because this is like all, a bit of a livelihood now, aye. do you know what I mean? Aye, that's what we're kind of going for. Aye, because it's, it's mad to say that, isn't it? Like, I wonder what will happen with us in, in the future. <laughs> When calling out your name I've never felt the same And it makes me feel A life that is mundane Wait on It's been so long You made it to the end of the video. I'm afraid that's it done. Um, your day can only go downhill from here, I'm afraid. Unless you go over to the Patreon. Now, we've got 20 hours of extra content there to cure your boredom. Um, we've got a lot of deep frieds, a lot of behind-the-scenes stuff, so it's a lot of stuff you've not seen before. So if you want more Riley's gaff, even more, then head over to www.patreon.com forward slash Riley's gaff. The link's in the description if you want to go over there and support us. It would mean the world to us. Thank you, team. Put the feet up, kept back and relaxing your face. No, I'm sitting on Riley's gaff, and I'm sitting on back in the pad. Get deep fried and I smoke some packs of the grass. Put the feet up, kept back and relaxing your face. No, I'm sitting on Riley's g